Turn on them, but see, I think that's new, that's new, they just get bigger, those are new, Okay. that's new, Okay. like I say, they, yeah. there's three new ones, they just keep Try getting bigger and bigger. Okay, all right, I'll probably have to see, let me go grab my notebook and I'll be right back, okay? Okay. Do you want a glass of water or anything? Okay. Get the camera? No, I'll grab it. I totally forgot about it. It's not really too important right now. <clears throat> well, I certainly want you to have both. Yeah, yeah, no, I definitely won't. I'll we'll take and photograph those of you. Now, on the, on the way over here, I actually did call my attorneys and they should, said I should definitely have an attorney. What's that? I, I called my attorneys, which is prepaid legal. Okay. And they said that I should definitely have an attorney. Dude, if I didn't read you your Miranda rights, have I? That's what they said. Okay. Well, let me ask you this then, okay? This okay. Is, do you feel like you're under arrest? <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't even think it was that. I didn't, didn't even sink in yesterday, but... I don't know where she's at, and she ain't back yet. Okay. Okay. So you don't know if you you, you don't know if you feel like you're under arrest or not. I feel <clears throat> like you guys are. I mean, I already told you guys everything I can think of, and I haven't. Oh, and I actually I did think of only one thing. Um, she has another friend that I wasn't even thinking of. That's one of her closest friends is Kiersey. Okay. Well, let me explain but, something to you, Josh, okay? But I can't even think straight. Okay. Let me explain something to you. You're not under arrest, okay? If you were under arrest, I would have came to your home. I would have put handcuffs on you and I would have brought you here, okay? Um, so understand that right now. You're not under arrest for anything, okay? Um, the problem that we have and the, what we're investigating is what? A missing person, right? You're right. And that missing person her. being your wife. And initially this all turned out to be basically missing people, an entire family. And that's why we were notified, okay? Okay. And that's why we were at your home. That's why we broke the window into your home to make sure that if there was anybody in there that they were okay, okay? This report came from your mom, which is obviously very concerned, and that was started by the daycare provider. By the okay. way, she has a key to my house. Okay. 
daycare provider has a key, so I don't know why they why they had to break the window when well, she started it and she had a key. Okay. Well, that was not brought to our attention, obviously. Okay. Um, so the concern here is obviously, and you, you mentioned that we talked. And by the way, I just. We spoke yesterday. Um, got some general stuff from you. All right. Okay. I mean, what I mean, what do you want us to do? Do you not want us to talk to you? Do you not want us to talk to anybody and just leave no, you alone no, and I hope that she shows up? Is that what you want us to do? No. Okay. I mean, I'm just trying to do my job. You know what I'm saying? Who's the closest person to her? Who's the closest well, I mean, person to her? Who? That's me. Exactly. So you're telling me that you do not want to come in here and talk to me and answer my questions they, so we can try to figure out where potentially she could be. They, they told me that, that I should have an attorney because you don't know what, when you don't know what's going on, you, they said that I'm, you know, pretty much in over my head. Hmm. Okay. You're in over your head because your wife is missing. Because <clears throat> you guys are already trying to trap me on little things, like my hands, for one. Taking pictures of your hands, showing that there's no serious injuries to your hands is trapping you how? Well, when you guys were doing it, you're telling me that you're like... I asked you where you got the nick on your, on your uh, knuckle. Well, and you explained that it was dry skin? Okay. Makes sense. I mean, dry skin and work. I, mean, I, I just work. Like I said, you, you don't have to be here. If you don't want to be here, you can leave. I didn't force you to come here, and I'm not forcing you to stay. Okay? If you don't want to talk, you can leave. You're not under I think arrest. I, I haven't read your... I think it would be a good idea to talk, but I think it might be a good idea to have an, an attorney. To What's an attorney going to do for you? I don't know. Answer your questions for you? I don't need the answers from an attorney. I need the answers from the husband that's closest to um, this missing person, to Susan. You know her better than I do. You know her better than anybody because you guys have been living together. You're married. You talk to each other every day, right? Yep. Okay. Well, wait a sec. I'll be right back. Okay.
Hello. Hello. Hello, can you hear me? Hello, can you hear me? I, I can hear you, but if, if you can't hear me, you must be back kind of... Are you there? Okay, talk to you in a minute. Hello? Yeah, I was trying to talk to you, but I couldn't hear anything. I mean, you couldn't hear me is what I meant to say. Apparently, yeah, I guess I, I, guess I, I could hear you. <clears throat> is, this, is this her boss's number? All right, what is that? I was just telling them that, uh, oh, come on. Yes. Okay. 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 Thanks. Um, what's the number? Oh, I think it's the lotion. I guess. Cause I've got. I can't get all of my. Do you have your camera? I don't have a camera. Okay. Okay, so you, you don't on your phone call? Okay, that's all I needed, okay? Oh. I'll, I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye. 
Sorry, it's throwing me off with that headset, dude. Sorry. Do you need this anymore? You need to write down anything else? Not this minute. Okay. I figured I better set it there before I <coughs> accidentally slip it in my pocket, you know? Yeah, no problem. Okay, so... Um, so back to being here. Do you, do you want to talk to me about your wife? And about your I, I've already about told situation? You. I've already told you everything. I can't think of anything, and I just, you know, I've been told that having an attorney is a better idea. Okay. Well, an attorney is not an issue, okay? Because I'm not going to have you call and have an attorney come up here and go through the whole attorney rigmarole because you're not under arrest, okay? What, what do you mean? I mean, you what use, do you mean you, you wouldn't use, have an attorney? You, you use an attorney, okay? What do you use an attorney for? When you're being charged criminally for something, correct? Yeah. Okay. You use an attorney for a, if you're involved in a civil lawsuit, right? Yeah. All right. We're not doing any of that, right? No. You're not under arrest. You're not being charged for anything. So an attorney is not, I mean, the attorney is not an issue. I mean, that, that's not an issue right now. The issue is that you have a wife that's missing. That's the issue. That's the concern. Okay, and that's why I don't understand why you're worried about having an attorney. Because I simply just want to, yeah, we spoke last night, but we didn't go into any, you know, a whole lot of details. Okay, I have a lot of questions still. All right, we need to find your wife. I would think that you would want to, you know, help me find your wife. What, what kind of questions are they still? There's quite a few questions. I want to go over, um, you know, all of her friends again. I want to go over who she talks to. I want to go over her work history. I want to go over her where you guys have lived. There's all kinds of things. Okay. Do you, do you not want to find I, your wife? Yeah, I do. You do? Yeah. Okay. Why are you making this so difficult then? To, well, You're let's go. If, if that's the kind of questions, I guess it's fine. We'll just try and, you know. What are you worried about? What are you concerned about? You guys you know, have implied some things, and so it concerns me. We've implied what? Well, you've implied that my hands have some kind of defensive wounds on them, just okay. because they're all cut up, and that's just, it's just the way they are. Okay, so there shouldn't be anything you need to worry about then, right? I mean, if I have dry hands and my hands were nicked up like that because they're dry hands, I don't think I'd be worried about it. <laughs> Well, go ahead and ask your question. I mean, do, you know, do we not have a job to do? No, go ahead and, uh, by the way, um, yeah, go ahead and ask the questions. Okay, you understand, you don't have to be here, all right? And you okay. need to understand that. If you want to leave, you can leave at any time. All right. You're not under arrest, I'm not detaining you, okay? Okay. If you don't want to be here, you can leave. If you don't want to talk, you don't have to talk. Well, I'm just I simply saying talk, that I want to find your wife. I just want to talk, but I'm getting scared. Okay. Well, I mean, if you haven't done nothing wrong, Josh, if you didn't do anything wrong, there's nothing to be scared about. Right? Well, I'm scared about the possibilities. Okay. Of what's happened. Well, I'm, I'm worried about possibilities of what happened, too. Because I have no idea where she's at, and you don't either. And that's why I need your help. All right. Yeah, go and ask questions. <clears throat> Let's start off on how long you've lived here. Um, how long you guys have lived in Utah? About five years. When did you move? Um, let's see. It was in 2009. Might be six years now. Seems like it was uh, maybe it was three late December, November or December of '03. I think we came. Okay. December of two thousand three. It seems like it. Here? I, I mean, that's the best I can recall. Okay. Where did you guys move from? 
Uh, Washington. <coughs> what? Washington State. Okay. Where in Washington State? Um, we lived in Yakima. We're, we're managing a retirement facility. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Um, actually, actually, we. Uh, we met at in, 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 called the Institute of Religion. That's where you guys actually met. Well, Institute technically of no, but that's when we met for real. Okay, is that in Washington State? In Tacoma. How old were you? Area. When was that? What year? Two thousand. Okay. All right. When did you guys get married? What year did you get married? Uh, 2000. Uh, it's probably a blank. I think it was 2000, but either that or it was 2001. Okay. And it was in April. <coughs> April? Yeah, yeah, actually April 6th. Okay. All right, so you guys met in uh, the Institute of Religion in Washington State. You guys got married in April of 2000 or 2001, right? And you guys lived in Yakima. Um, actually, sorry, I, I was going backwards. Um, we lived in Tacoma mm -hmm. in an apartment, and then we lived in, I think, Spanaway in an apartment. Um, I think we moved to Yakima a time or two. We stayed with family, both her parents and my dad. Um, uh, and then we moved to Yakima because we're managing a retirement facility. Mm -hmm. Then we moved to Olympia. Managing another retirement facility. And then we moved to, um, I think that's when we moved to Utah. Okay. Yeah. And you say that was, um, what was that, uh, 2003, right? <sighs> December of 2003? I think so. Okay. It seems like 2004, March ish, we bought our house. Mm hmm. Which house did you buy? Well, that's the house. Okay, so when you moved here to Utah, you bought the house in Sarah Circle? Yeah, only we stayed with family until then. Which family did you stay with? I, my sister. Jennifer. Okay. Was Jennifer living with uh, your mom at the time, or was she living away from your mom? Or did they, do they live together? No, they, they lived together, but they didn't at the time. Oh, okay. All right, so she you only moved here, my mom. Mm hmm year. Oh, okay. All right. So, what brought you guys to Utah? Just, um, I'm oh, sorry, what did you say? What brought you guys to Utah? Um, uh, just getting away and getting, it's not, not too far from family, but getting a little farther from family, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Where did you go to school? Where did you go to college? Did you go to college? Um, that was before we met, but I went to the UW Pierce College and the Eastern Washington mm -hmm. at different okay. times. Okay. Did you do any sports or what was your, what did you get a degree there? Yeah. Yeah, what did you get a degree in? Uh, associates and then I got a business degree. Okay. So you guys bought, so you moved here in 2003, stayed with your sister for a little while, and then you bought that house over in Sarah Circle and you've lived there ever since, right? Okay. What, um, what were your guys' employers when you moved here in Utah? None. You didn't have a job? And Sarah didn't, and Susan didn't have a job? Okay. So what was your first employers? Yours and Susan's. 
Veritude, which is Fatality. Is that Temp Agency? That Temp Agency. That was for you? Both. For both of you? Okay. Yeah, we both were. <laughs> we worked in different departments. I only lasted a while. Mm -hmm. Maybe a month. Because it was data entry. Yeah, it doesn't sound very fun, does it? <clears throat> no, but I. Speed is not my specialty. Okay. And, um, explain to me in more detail as far as where you guys got jobs after that you went there. <clears throat> well, she, she worked for Fidelity and, keep work, and kept working there. Okay. Um, I think I might have started real estate about after that. Mm -hmm. When did she leave Fidelity? Uh, she she got pregnant, and after the baby, she stayed home. Okay, but and that uh, was when. Um, I mean that. I mean, oh, when was the baby born? Uh, well, Charlie was she born, born in January. She stopped working. So when did she stop working? Fidelity. Probably a month or two after her vacation, I guess. Her vacation? Uh, FMLA. Okay. The family. So 2005? After having the chart. Um, it rating. seems, no, no, Charlie. Seems like that's about what happened. All right, and then uh, you said you started real estate at that time. Um, I, I I went to uh, Stringham. Okay. And who did you start working with then? Uh, Prudential. Okay. And did you just stay with Prudential, or did you? What did you do? Uh, How long did you stay with Prudential? They take too much on a commission. Mm -hmm. I was there for nine months, maybe, or something like that, and then I switched to HomeNet. Okay. And um, describe HomeNet more to me. I don't understand what that is. Is that a company? It's just a broker company. A broker. He has an office that, you know, people can come in and use, and he has cubicles. Some people rent their cubicles, but I didn't need to at Prudent, at uh Prudential, they they have cubicles, but they charge fifty, forty five to fifty percent of the commission. Wow. They really don't do anything. Yeah. Just provide your workspace. Home net tar charge very little and they don't really do anything either. Okay. I mean they do as much as Prudential. I mean everything on the list they do. Hmm. So so it's no brainer for me, and, and the only reason I would stay is if they had a uh, reputation. Right. So HomeNet is basically just a, a place, um, like a home base for your company. Right? Um, it's just is a it, company. Is, is it's it just your a own company? Home real a estate. Well, you're, no, you're real estate. You're doing real estate. So oh, as an agent. Okay. Here's what they do. They. They have uh, they have agents and brokers. Mm -hmm. You have to work under a broker, or right. else you can't work. Um, so I just picked one. Okay. And and like I say, HomeNet. I just somehow ran into them, and then found out their commission structure, and I was like, no brainer. Right. They make more money. Keep Makes more. Sense. Yeah. Um, and it and it really didn't make any difference because I, I and I actually asked all my clients, do did you know do you know what company I work for? No. They don't care. Their reputation obviously wasn't helping me a whole lot. Yeah. So I Because you just basically was that the um uh, Josh Josh Powell Realty, right? Okay. Gotcha. Um so 
And so I she... actually have a broker license now myself. Oh, do you? Good for you. But I'm so inactive. difficult to get. Well, I'm active, but I'm... I turn people away. Why? I'm too, too busy. Yeah? And I don't feel like I can work a 40-hour job and serve them. And some people think they can. Yeah. Or they're greedy enough to take the money, and I just... I just... Um, I, I just can't do it to them. Right. I mean... Okay. So, when she, um, so Susan quits working in 2005, and you guys have a child, um, does she go back to work? I don't think she worked for a year and a half or two years. Okay. I mean, probably a year, year and a half. Um, I just, I can't even remember. I think Oh, she went back to work for Fidelity for a while, I think. Someone paid the insurance. Okay. So you think she went back to work at Fidelity? I think so. <clears throat> I, I just, I'm trying to remember how all this fit together. She, um, she, we had insurance on both kids, mm -hmm. as I recall. I think it might have been Fidelity. And then after the other baby, um, you know, Brayden. Mm -hmm. See, after Brayden, she went. I think she took a year off for some amount of time off. Mm -hmm. In fact, I think it was a year. Okay. Because I just remember she couldn't get back and work for Fidelity, and that's why she ended up at Wells Fargo. Okay. So when did she go work for Wells Fargo? Um, about, two years ago, maybe, okay. I think, maybe January 15th or something. Yeah, okay. Um, oh, and then I worked for a, um, I worked for a dude in accounting for six weeks. Okay. Um, the January 2nd, I think, is when I started. Mm -hmm. But he was kind of a shyster, and so I didn't want to stay. He, I mean, he, he wasn't really, but his clients were, and he was willing to look the other way. And I'm going, I don't think so. He had a dude that was... Um, There was a guy running a business. So I just, think he was asking questions okay. about, uh, or asking them to change things, you know, for an audit or, right. or something. And um, so, did you just work with them for a short time? I can't remember what it was. That was some real, real shady. And they also drove another business out of business. Okay. But did you just stay with them for a short time and then go to Aspen Logistics after that? Yeah. What's Aspen Logistics? Tell me more about that. Um, they're, they're trucking logistics. Mm -hmm. Basically, they have a warehouse. They have uh, racking, forklifts, and door, truck doors, and they just move it in, move it out. What do you do for them? Um, and sometimes they'll cross dock it into another truck. Um, I, I I program. Okay. I program their website. Okay. All right. Um.
Um, so what are some hobbies that, uh, that you and, and Susan are interested in? Um, well, I, li I like woodworking mm -hmm. and art. And I, usually I like working on the house. You know, fixing the build, well, not fixing, but building the deck and things like that, you know. Mm -hmm. Susan likes art. She likes what? She, she likes art. Oh, art. Okay. She likes crocheting. Um, <laughs> she likes Facebook. <laughs> if you can call, if you can call that a hobby. Yeah. She likes our kids and, you know, being with them. Well, and obviously I do too. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we just like to go to usually the cheap places. Not always, but uh, we got a, a zoo membership. Mm -hmm. And... Anyway, we've gone there about four or five times or six or I don't know. Um, um, so those are some hobbies that she likes, she enjoys. Oh, and we go, we eat out on kind of a regular basis. What? Sometimes we eat out. Oh, okay. A little bit more often than we should. Yeah. Well, don't we always like that? Eating out always tastes better, don't it? Yeah, kind of. It kind of does. Unless we get a bad restaurant. And they usually put enough fat in it that we don't put in it that it's better. Yeah, tasting. exactly. But um, it's also cheaper and sometimes because mm -hmm. we go to Del Taco yeah. for Tuesday and we can eat our whole family for five bucks. Really? Wow. Four seventy. Um, well, what are some other things for that, five, four or five bucks yeah. plus tax? What are some other things that she likes to do? I mean, we talked about some hobbies. What are some other things that she likes to do? Um, makeup. She has a club. Uh, she has a club or something. Mm -hmm. Or not a. She just has friends that she does it with. Okay. She she has a. Um, she had a food party. Mm -hmm. Just wanted to have everyone over mm -hmm. taste food. So we did. And we got a little bit of food from that. Tell me everything about her. Things that she liked to do, places she liked to go, places that she liked to revisit, that she would frequently go to. Um, uh, she'd go to her friend's house, who's most of which I already told you. Which which friend's house would you go to the most? She goes to them all. Yeah, but there's got to be more of a like a person that's more frequent. I mean, we all have it like, we all have friends. <clears throat> Kind of like it, kind of almost rotates. Uh, sometimes it's one, sometimes it's another. Okay. Who's it been the last three months? Um, the Petersons, she's talked to quite a bit. How about I'm, going to their homes and visiting? Who would yeah, I found be the her, most frequent? I found her over there a few times. Mm -hmm. um, I had to go pick her up because of well, it was just dark, and I didn't want her to walk with the kids home all, all the way home, you know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Judy Wade comes over all the time. Judy Wade comes over to your house. And she goes over there sometimes. Okay. Um, 
Debbie, the day, daycare lady. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Debbie, daycare she, provider. Been hanging out with her regularly. Okay. Like a couple times a month or something, it seems like. Okay. Um. Um, she, she used to go over to Kiersey's all the time, but I don't know if they really uh, get together in person a lot. Oh, and she likes to go to the crochet club. Mm -hmm. They do have a crochet club in the church. Okay. Um, she goes to all kinds of activities with the church. Um, she likes to sing at the choir. On that sometimes she leaves again for that. Usually Sundays, sometimes weeknights. Yeah. Um, she likes to go out with girls' nights. Oh, uh, Tara Allred and Allison St. Louis. I forgot to mention them. I don't know if you. How close was she to them? Um, they all seem like they're with her. Okay. Let's go through this real quick. Um, give me a list of your checking accounts, credit cards that you guys have. Um, well, she has... <clears throat> seems like she has a couple of accounts at Wells Fargo. Okay. Um, so Wells Fargo, is that going to be joint or individual? Um, I think there's a joint and an individual in one of each. Okay. Okay, so Wells Fargo. Um, we have retirement accounts there. Okay, I'm just talking like credit cards or checking accounts. Oh, oh yeah. Um, okay, we have at the Spokane Teachers Credit Union. That's a long time credit union for us. Mm -hmm. So that's joint? That, yes. Okay. Um, Mountain America. Okay. I think there might be two accounts there currently. I think we had a joint and a. And I opened up a personal one. Okay. All right. Um, Chase, I've got several business accounts there. She doesn't access those at all. Okay. Um, well, and I, I don't think she has any accounts with Chase. Okay. I have like maybe four, five, I don't know. I've got a couple with, for business. I think I've got at least I think I've got one for my real estate brokerage mm -hmm. as required. It's just empty. Mm -hmm. and I've got one that's just a personal account because they gave me 200 bucks or 100 or 200. Yeah, I don't yeah. remember what it was. And remember I was getting like, that whatever. advertisement. Yeah. And then they're like, you have to do direct deposit. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, fine. So I put 50 bucks in there yeah. every month. Yeah, I used to uh, get this. I, I don't got the same thing. Well, it's actually not a bad bank. I, I have been happy with, I was with Washington Mutual with my business, but I, I've been happy with Chase, you know. They're, right. they're equivalent to Washington Mutual, except not. Yeah. So we got Wells Fargo, casual. Spokane, uh, Mountain America, Chase. What else? I can't think of any off the top of my head. Did you look in her wallet and see if any of that, or and see um, if there was any others? Saying that there was a Wells Fargo. Um, yeah, she. I think she's got a couple accounts at Wells Fargo. Okay. I, honestly, she works there. They give her everything free. Okay. How about credit cards? You know, Discover's, oh, uh, Visa's, um, 
American Expresses, MasterCards. Capital One. <clears throat> Is that joint? No. Yours or hers? It's hers. Oh, and Home Depot. I think, yeah, she's got a Home Depot card. Okay. So Capital One. How about gas cards I don't think for that. gas companies? I, I, I just can't think of any that she would have. I have one. You have one? I think I've had it for 12 years. I mean, I, don't, I can't say how long, but I've had it for a long time. Okay. Is that what you use to get gas? Do you use it to get your gas? What's that through? Um, Conoco. Any other credit cards? Uh, I have a Home Depot. Okay. Anything else? <clears throat> I just can't think of any. So, out of all of these accounts... Oh, and I have her STCU card, because she, well, I don't have my PIN. Oh, okay. And so, when I need to go shopping at Winco, which is a brand new store over there in the West Valley, mm -hmm. um, they don't take credit. So, oh. I've got caught there a time or two, and I've had to go back and get, basically, her debit card, because it's the only one we know the PIN on. Okay. Okay, so you have that card. Yeah, because I, I think they charged a couple bucks for the pin reset. Yeah, probably. <clears throat> and I didn't. I just haven't done it because that's the only store I need to have a pin, and I haven't. Um, I probably should go get it okay. reset. All right, let's talk. Um, let's talk more about. Um, these are all the credit cards and checking accounts, debit cards that you have access to or may use. That's all I can think use, of. Right? That's all I can think of. Okay. If you think of another one, just let me know so we can jot it down, okay? Yeah. Um, let's go back to um, the kids and, and her and you. and um, You stated that you know, she loved the kids, she loved doing things with the kids. Uh, tell me more about the relationship between her and, and the boys. Um, well, she she loves them. I mean, she we both read them stories. Um, you know, we 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 just would prefer to take them. A lot of people like to leave the kids home and get away. Mm -hmm. It's like we're the opposite. Of course, we work, so we don't want to get away from them. We want to get back to them. Exactly. And that's the way she is with the kids. It's just, um, um, she likes to do art with them. Mm -hmm. uh, she saves their little drawings, which I do too, but um, um, she's making a baby book for them. Mm -hmm. uh, each of them, yeah. Uh, oh, and then she reads that to them um, sometimes for stories. Mm -hmm. um, uh, she always likes to buy them toys, <laughs> like at the dollar store, mm -hmm. which is annoying because they suck. So dollar this quality. I'm like, if you're gonna buy a toy, buy a nice one. <laughs> but uh, then again, if she's gonna buy it every time she goes out, uh, whatever the kids like it, you know. Yeah. I mean, um, she likes to help them pick up the toys and learn how to do all these things, you know. Mm -hmm. um, Mm, 
Sometimes we watch a movie with them. Usually, usually at home. Sometimes we go out to do it. Usually, well, I say usually, but it's almost always at the cheap theater. Yeah. Because I, I mean, I, I just won't do it. I mean, the daycare provider apparently takes them to the expensive theater. Mm -hmm. um, and she's like, it's too dirty. And I don't want to put your kids in that filth. And I'm like, I mean, I don't want to let them eat off the floor. Yeah. That would be disgusting in any theater. But I just can't. I just can't see it, you know? So we buy them on DVD and okay. um, stuff like that. <clears throat> so she enjoyed being with the kids as well as yourself and doing things with them when you guys weren't at work, right? Um, Okay. We just find family activities that are fun. Oh, and we go feed the ducks all the time. Mm -hmm. um, I have an RC car. Sometimes we go out and drive that, although she's not as fond of the RC car. Yeah. What can you do? Yeah. Okay. But she does love the fact that I have it scaled down to the kids' speed. Right. So they can actually grab the remote and drive it. Okay. What do you guys usually do? What do you like to do? What do you do most frequently together as a family when you leave the home? I mean, you would mentioned the zoo. You mentioned uh, going out to eat, movies. Is there any other stuff, any outdoor activities that you guys frequently go do? Um, well, mostly going out to eat. Mm -hmm. um, we, we do that on a regular basis, okay. and I actually am, I, I kind of have to go out with my friends at work, you know, um, partly want to, partly have to. Mm -hmm. Well, feel like I have to, it right. doesn't, you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, that's once a week, but all the, every, yeah, I mean, we usually just go with a family to eat, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay. <coughs> well, she's gone out to eat. What about well, outdoor activities like on the weekends? What do you guys, I mean, do you guys um, frequent, do you guys frequently leave the home on the weekends or go out and do outdoor activities overnight or during the day? I mean, I, I go camping with my sons. I, I mean, I made a goal. My, my dad didn't do it. Okay. And I decided We're coming. to do it. Let's see, well, it's almost the end of 2009. How, how many times do you think you guys went camping this year? Three or four. Okay. All right. Not just and it's just sporadic over through over the, over yeah, the year? Yeah, just sporadic. I mean, I think last year I did it a two or three times. Okay. So you say three or four times over the course of a year would be yeah. common. Um. I try to go more frequently, but right. I, yeah, just time. my kids begged me, and I... I went once this last year, so just time doesn't permit, really. Oh, wow. Um, okay. Um, uh, we, we go to the fair. Okay. Um, we go to the different <coughs> kind of things that happen in the, you know, those kind of events mm -hmm. around yeah. the valley. Yeah, around the valley. Okay. Um, we go down, we went down to that, uh, Wheeler Farm. Went down there a couple times. I really like that place, you know. Yeah, it's nice. Okay, well, we've talked quite a bit about um, about everybody, you, her, the kids, what you guys like to do, um, and I appreciate you talking with me about that because it kind of gives me a little bit of insight as far as you know the things that she likes to do, places she likes to go, people who she likes to go visit. Yeah. Okay. Um, 
let's start with um, let's start with Sun. Uh, let's start with Friday. Okay, you guys. Did you guys both go to work on Friday? Yeah. Okay. And um, I'm guessing that the kids probably went to daycare. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's start with. <clears throat> You took her to work on Friday? Yeah, we get up how does in the that, morning. How did that routine go, dude? Um, basically, <clears throat> we get up in the morning, mm -hmm. we pee the kids, um, at least we try. Mm -hmm. um, load them up, drop them off at daycare. Okay. Then I drive, drive over to her work, drop her off, and then I drive to my work. Okay. And then, and I'm there throughout the day. Um, then she, uh, let's see, sometimes I go home after work, and sometimes I go straight to her work. Because I work in the same direction as her. Okay. Um, it's probably only a mile out of the way. Right. And she's probably, I mean, I'm probably... Seven miles. Okay. And she's probably ten. Whatever it is, she's a little further. Okay. This in the same direction. So as far as Friday, um, you guys got ready, dropped the kids off at daycare. You took her to work, dropped her off. You went to work, and then did you go pick her up and then go home, or did you go home go to daycare? I think I. You picked her up and then I think went. I might have picked up the kids first. Okay, well, that's just not that important. Um, but that's common routine, right? Is mm -hmm. is what we just talked about. And you do that Monday through Friday. Yeah. Okay. Um, what about uh, let's let's start with let's start with Saturday. Okay. So um, start Saturday with me, and start from the time that you guys woke up till lunchtime. And explain to me what you guys did um, Saturday morning up we until lunchtime. Oh, we went and get did activities with the boys. Okay. Um, we went to Home Depot. And then we went to Lowe's. And we built a. I can't remember what we built this time. Okay. A wagon. Gingerbread house for Lowe's. I just picked it up. Then we went to a church party, basically. Um, breakfast. You know. Mm -hmm. uh, we made pancakes and eggs. So yeah, eggs and hash browns. They did some activities. Kids started making a chain, another chain, paper chain. Um, um, that's about it. And then we went home. And this is between uh, morning to noon, right? Or lunch I think time. It was about twelve or twelve thirty. Okay. Um, she had to work in the afternoon, so... On Saturday? Yeah, and so she, she actually, she started to drive to work, but she had the boys' wagons, and so they were screaming about it, but they live only a few blocks away, and she brought them back. Okay. And that's afternoon? Or is that in the morning? No, that was noon. -ish. Okay. So let's, so was well, there then anything it, else then between... the traffic might have been... Low because okay. of the snow. Was there anything else between from the time you woke up until noon that took place? I mean, any arguments, any disagreements, no. um, anything like that? Mm -mm. All right. So from let's go from noon until bedtime on Saturday, and walk me through step by step on from noon 
to bedtime. And include, you know, if there's any arguments, disagreements. Uh, Giovanna was over <clears throat> Saturday because we took her kid and she, um, she has a 10 year old. And then she stayed over to, you know, hang out and, you know, she wants her kids to see how to build a deck and all these little things, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, basically it. I mean, we just hung out until Susan got home. What time did she leave? Um, For some reason, I was thinking that that she stayed longer. Approximately, what time did she leave for work? Oh, Susan. Yeah. She um, noon. Okay. I think she What time did been, she get home? Approximately. Yeah, I think it was. I think she was. You know, maybe eleven thirty at night. No, work morning. Okay, what time did she get home from work? Six. Okay. Like ish, get ish, six ish. What ish. time did Giovanna get there on Saturday? Twelve. And she left at what time? One. Did she stay there for a long period of time, or did she just pick up her kid and leave? Um, I, I actually brought her kid to that place and to the party, and then I picked and I carried and I drove him to my house. All right, so drove on. She didn't came come. and met us an hour or something <clears throat> later, maybe. At your house? Or maybe one. I, it's hard to say. Something like that. All right, so drove on. came to your house on Saturday. And she came over while uh, Susan was at work. Yeah. Okay. Um, and did she well, stay there for a significant amount of time? Yeah. Okay. Five, five or six okay. hours, I think. She stayed there for five or six hours? Okay. And what did you guys do in that time frame? You said you just waited around for Susan to get home? No, we oh. were just working on stuff. Okay. What kind of stuff were you working on? Um, well, building a picture frame. Um, just trying to clean up, generally. Okay. Um, sorry, it just sounds odd. Awesome. Why don't you come over and help clean your house? No, just to do work, woodworking. Okay. Um, but the problem is there's no room to get all the tools out sometimes, so you just have to make room sometimes. Okay. So, Which, Susan gets home around 6, you say? Yeah. Saturday night? Um, let's talk about from the time that she got home to the time you guys went to bed. Tell me everything you guys did that night. What you guys talked about, what you argued. You're sitting here thinking. We didn't. I know you're we thinking. didn't. Uh, we didn't. We weren't arguing. Uh, we, we had a babysitter. I think her son Alex was babysitting, and I can't remember what. I don't remember what we were doing with the babysitter there. Okay. <clears throat> so you don't remember what you guys did from 6 o'clock till you went to bed on Saturday night? Uh, 
I just don't remember what activity we were doing. Okay. Is there anything that you remember from that night? Um... Well, we got home and Alex had the kids up. Well, sort of. They were supposed to be in bed, but they weren't. Okay. Um, she wanted them in bed. So we had to get that done. Um, I think we watched a movie. Okay. Probably Santa Claus 2. Is there anything else from that night that you remember? Okay. Let's move on to Sunday from the time that you woke up, from the time you guys woke up until she came home from church. Let's talk about everything that took place, what was said, what was done, um, between the time you woke up to the time she got home from church on Sunday. Uh, not a whole lot was said or done in the morning. I mean, a lot of times we sleep in in the morning. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I think she just got the kids ready and left. What time? Fifty, I guess. Okay. Seems like it was a ten o'clock church. Okay. Um, no problems that morning. No arguments. No disagreements. No talk about her leaving, going and doing something. No. Anything during the day or that night. What did you guys talk no, about she, that morning? She wasn't Did you guys speak to each other? I don't even think she did the choir. Okay. Did you guys speak to each other that morning before she left to go to church? I mean, nothing significant. I mean, we probably just, I mean, we didn't talk. We just, we were going about our day, you know. Okay. So nothing was said to you out of the ordinary from her or nothing of interest? I mean, she, she might have asked if I was coming to church, and I don't know, I didn't even feel like walking. Okay. Because um, you can't park there during the state conference. Okay. So, she gets home about, what time does she get home from church with the boys? Five or ten after twelve. Okay. So a little after twelve o'clock, twelve p.m. Okay. And uh, from that time, um, tell me what uh, what transpires. Tell me everything that happens once she gets home. I want you guys to talk about if she calls anybody, if she does anything, if she leaves the house. <clears throat> tell me everything that um, takes place. I went to the store mm -hmm. and picked up after she got home some kind of food I don't remember really what um, I actually drove her home because I drove up about that time and she was walking with the boys and so and she was only a couple blocks from home but I you know got them in the car and mm -hmm. drove them home and, okay um, and I went to the store. Um, seems like it might have been Winco. Okay. <coughs> I can't even remember what I bought. Okay. But it was something to eat. Um, I bought yogurt. There was something I was missing. Anyway, 
I made an omelet. Um, when I got back, I made some kind of an omelet. What was going on in the house when you got back? What was Susan and the boys doing? Just normal. I mean, the kids were playing, and she was just... I think she was watching TV. Okay. Um, so I made an omelet and some kind of pancakes and I put cream cheese in them. I think that was all. Oh, and then she called Giovanna. Um, anyway, Giovanna came over. Mm -hmm. She had some pancakes too. Um, I guess Susan was feeling tired when she got home from church, so by that time she decided to take a nap, maybe three, three or four. Okay. Probably four. Then Giovanna hang, hung out for a while. Um, I was just trying to get the sleds and everything ready. And trying to make sure I got all their change of clothes. Um, didn't really have a plan in mind, so I was trying to prepare for everything, you know. She woke up around 6.30. Um, then we ate dinner. Then, uh, well, my son was asleep. <laughs> the two-year-old was a, he didn't even eat. He was just too tired. Mm. So then he, Slept for a while uh, on her, on, you know, and, and then then he got moved. Seems like maybe to the couch and then the, the bed. Or was she napping at? Um, on the couch. Oh, um, no, she was sleeping in our bed. Okay. Um. What time did Giovanna leave? Five or six, I don't know. Okay. And Susan actually was exclaiming how, you know, how much she appreciated the breakfast and, I mean, the lunch and dinner. I think after that I did take Charlie because I try not to break the promises to him. Uh, and we went sledding. Uh, we just went to a local um, Whittier, by Whittier. Mm -hmm. And then we went home. What time was that at? I think we were home by 30 or 9. Okay. Something like that. I, you know. It, it was just time to start stories and teeth brushing, you know. So then. Um, and I was talking to my son about s'mores. Super excited about cocoa and s'mores. <laughs> There's snow. I eat cocoa. It's Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> then we 
we watched a movie. Well, no, actually, then we... Um, well, she wanted the couch clean, so I did the rug doctor. We try to do something each week, you know. Um, it's too hard if it's all wet at once, you know, and it dries slow. So we... Um, then we watched a movie, and I think that was probably Santa Claus 3. Mm -hmm. um, then we uh, finished up the movie, I talked to her about uh, taking the boys to do s'mores and to try out the new generator, you know, mm -hmm. and she went to bed and I finished packing and loaded them up. And then we just, you know, just like the morning routine, I just pee, tried to pee them and left. So when, um, so you cleaned the couch and she wanted you, what, was the couch dirty? Was there a stain on the couch or something or? It's just all the goobers and snot from <laughs> kids who wipe their nose on it and okay. they just, they just do brutal things to the furniture and like the other couch needs it too. Okay. And when you talk to, um, Susan about taking the kids and doing some more generator. Tell me more details on that conversation. Um, she just, you know, I told her that I wanted to, and she just said, "Well, we have a heater. You can't take the boys out in the cold without heater." Like, yep, I got my generator. Mm -hmm. Okay. That was it? That's basically, I mean, it wasn't a long conversation. Okay. She didn't uh, inquire as to when you'd be back, when you're going, where well, you're going. Her, I told her I'd be back. So I'll just come back tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. Okay. But then with the snowfall, it yeah, I got a little later in the morning mm -hmm. than I was planning. Plus the boys were loving it, you know. Um, we kept seeing deer and sheep, mm -hmm. and all these stuff, all these things that they just. They just eat it up, you know? Right. Did you make arrangements? Uh, did you guys uh, talk about arrangements for her getting to work? I was thinking it was going to be Sunday, and I didn't even think about work. And her? I guess it didn't cross her mind at the time. Okay. And then what time, what time did you say that she went to bed? Probably 12.30ish. Okay. Was there anything said before she went to bed? Any, did you guys talk about anything else before she went to sleep? She just hugged and said goodnight, that's about it. What um, sorry, this phone. What about uh,
Was there any other discussions, any other talks throughout the day that I just I, I should know about? I just can't think of between any. the two of you. No, no, we didn't fight or anything. Any other discussions? Any other talking about anything that would be important? Nothing significant. I mean, I think she was chatting with Giovanna. I, I, don't, I can't even remember what conversations, you know? Mm -hmm. I probably jumped in a few times. But... <coughs> and mostly I was just making <coughs> lunch. Okay. So I was actually in the other room. Okay. Um, you talked earlier about um, how kind of sporadic throughout the day and or the afternoon you were uh, packing the vehicle and getting things ready for for this trip. Um, tell me everything that you packed and put inside the vehicle. Um, uh, three pairs of clothes for each boy, <coughs> and, and for me, um, heaters, I actually grabbed a humidifier because, you know, it's pretty nasty this time of year, um, generator, some wood, fire extinguisher, lighters, bunch of camping gear. Kind of uh, sleds were already in there, so I just kept them in there. What kind of camping gear? I couldn't even tell you at this point. <laughs> it's a box. Okay. I mean, I just grab it and assume whatever I need is going to be in there when it's ready to be used. Okay. And mostly the things I use are on top, you know, like this the s'more sticks and mm -hmm. although I don't necessarily use those either because it's just easier to <laughs> grab a stick and then burn it. Yeah. Okay. What else did you put in there? Um some cords. Flashlight. I don't know, just a bunch of stuff. Okay. Um, cords, what do you mean by cords? Uh, just cords so I can plug in the... Electrical cords? Yeah. Okay. And what's the bunch of this other stuff? I don't know, I mean... Oh, come on, Josh. You remember putting <laughs> cream cheese in a pancake, and you tell me you can't remember what you put in your car? I mean, that's basically all the significant stuff. Oh, gas? Mm -hmm. Okay. Tarps? So, Some tarps? Okay. Anything else? Remember? Nothing significant. Alright. That I can think of. Okay. What time did you. Uh, oh, food. I mean, we had food. Okay. What kind of food did you pack? Um, yogurt, cheese, mm -hmm. hot dogs, um, marshmallows, graham crackers. About it. Okay. And what time did you guys, uh, what time did you say you left your house? Seems like it was 1.30 or 2. Okay. And um, 
So you leave the house, <coughs> and uh, I just need to know the exact route, what you took, where you went. If you stopped and got fuel, if you stopped to get food, if you stopped anywhere, I need to know where you stopped. So walk me through your route, where you stopped. I don't think I stopped anywhere. Where you went. I just went through Tooele. <coughs> And just headed south. Okay. So that's, I need to know your route. I mean, I need to know, like, where, you say you went through Tooele and get to Tooele two different ways. Um, mm, how did 80. you get to Tooele? Okay. So you, uh, so you left your house and you used Interstate 80? Yeah. To Tooele? Uh huh. Okay. South. Mm -hmm. And found my way onto a Pony Express route, and that was it. And I just pulled off into some some trail. Mm -hmm. So you just took I eighty, went through Twilla, and, and you went to the Pony Express route. <coughs> screen these calls um, and you didn't stop anywhere I don't think so okay so you're, you're saying you already had a full tank of gas you didn't have to fill up mm, yeah yeah what yeah I have a tank of gas okay so you didn't have to I think I might have gotten it the day before or the day of or something I don't remember okay all right so you drove uh, out the Pony Express trail, you didn't, no stop for food, gas, nothing, right? Okay. And you get the Pony Express trail, obviously go east, or I'm sorry, west, right? Yeah. And how far west do you go? I honestly do wasn't even paying attention, but I just, I just drive, and if anything looks good. I've honestly, I'll be honest with you, I've never been out there. I need to make sure. <laughs> I haven't been out there too long. I haven't been out there, so. It's a nasty road. I don't road, know if, okay, so I don't know if there's like any landmarks, if there's camping there's grounds not, all along the road. Um, if there's, so. are there roads that come off of the Pony Express Trail and go south and north? No. 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 There's just trails that you can, I don't know. I've only been out there three or four times. And okay. Well, you've been out there most recent before I, I mean, yeah. pretty recent, right? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. But it was also snowing, and so it, I was pretty focused on the road. Okay. And looking for a turnoff. Like right. I say, I just found a trail. and. Were you concerned with the snow, knowing that there was a snowstorm coming in? Um, yeah, I was... In a minivan? Actually, the minivan handles like a 4x4. Four four. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you can go some serious off-roading with that minivan. Okay. So, I mean, wasn't that a concern with the, the storm coming in and it was already snowing? It wasn't already snowing when I left. No, it was snowing when you got out it there. It was, yeah. And so I was watching the road, and I'm going, how thick is this going to get? Mm -hmm. And, you know, are we going to get stuck? <coughs> and then I thought, well, you know, what are the odds that it'll be anything that'll get us stuck out there? Mm -hmm. You know, and we have the generator and the heaters, and so it's like, well, this, we can risk it. Yeah. Already here, what the heck, you know? Okay. So about how far do you think you went west on the trail? If you had a guess. I don't know. Maybe 20 miles or who knows. Okay. So maybe 20 miles? And just 
just walk me through from that point all the way up until you left that area. Um, well, I just stopped, set up the generator just on a tarp, and um, plugged in the heaters, got some sleep. Just right there on the trail? Mm -hmm. Okay. What are, you keep mentioning these heaters. What, what kind of heaters? Just a heater. Just a the, space heater. A space heater you plug in? Yeah. And you just plugged it into the generator and yeah. left it in your car? Well, the generator out, but the car, yeah, yeah, the, yeah the heater's inside. Hmm. You can't run a car with an <coughs> engine. You can't sleep in a car with the engine running. Yeah. Although I've done it a few times. Okay. But usually, if you fall asleep with it running, you're taking a gamble. Okay. But, you know, with the generator, it's sitting off to the side, and so it's not really that close. Okay. So you set up the generator, and you set up the heaters, and you sleep, right? Um, and the actually, I did also the humidifier. Okay. And then, and then we woke up. Uh, <coughs> <clears throat> Dawnish after the light. Mm -hmm. um, and we did a little campfire. Hung out, drove all over creation. Okay. You just do the camp uh, the campfire just uh, right there on the side of the road. Yeah. Okay. Um, what did you use uh, for the campfire? Just wood. Just some crappy wood that I had. Okay. So you have the campfire. What, what do you do with the campfire? Just hung out for a few minutes. Marshmallow or two, and that's about it. Okay. And then what? Well, then, then the boys just wanted to drive all over the place, and then uh, occasionally get out and go see stuff. Uh, we did drive out to that. Um, Well, that campground out there. Um, we looked at a, a stone building. Okay. That's near a campsite? Yep. Near a campground? That's about as far as we went. Okay. And then you said it's about a, as far as you went? Did you go a little bit beyond the stone building, the no. campground area, or is that as far as you went? That, that's the no, farthest that's, you went? Yeah, I pulled off <coughs> into some little, they have a little rest, like an outhouse. Mm -hmm. So I just stopped by there and um, anyway, then it was getting kind of kind of late, so I told the boys, time to go, and mm -hmm. they didn't want to go, but what the heck, you know, <laughs> all day they kept saying, no, I don't want to go home, let's go camping some more, yeah. um, we saw all kinds of deer, mm -hmm. tons of deer, apparently, that come out in the winter, I guess, I don't know, I uh, had a bunch of sheep that we took off. Mm -hmm. Apparently they were hurting him. The dog was hurting him. Some kind of a big dog. We had to wait for those to get off the road. It was pretty cool. Okay. That's, um, so you just basically, you stayed on the Pony Express Trail. There's no trails that come off of it, right? Off of the road. 
Well, just the trails. Yeah, I mean. I mean, did you drove. just drive on the road straight out to this campground? No, we drove into the trail. Okay, so you drove on some of the trails then? Yeah. Okay. How could you see the trails with the snow out there? You can tell. Can you? Some are wide, some are narrow, I don't know. They're, you know, the narrow ones, you can't, you drive them on a four-wheeler. Mm -hmm. Some of them you can drive with a car and other vehicles. Okay. What time was it, you say, that you thought it was starting to get too late and that you had to start coming back? Probably 11 or 12, I'm guessing. Or something like that. And that's when you started coming back towards Salt Lake? Um, yeah, but we drove to Lehigh. Right. To get home. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so when you're out there and you, you create this fire, how do you start this fire? You have the wood. Light the fire. A little kindling and let it go with a lighter. Mm -hmm. So no paper or <coughs> gasoline um, or anything. You just add some kindling and start out the fire. Well, I have some paper. Okay. Did you burn quite a bit of wood there? Was there quite a bit of wood that was burnt there, or how long did you say you guys sat around the fire? Oh, I don't know. Probably a couple hours. A couple hours. Okay. Just off and on. I mean, they were playing and stuff, you know. Right. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Okay, let's talk about, uh, so coming back, you say around maybe 11 or 12, you thought it was time to leave and you started coming back. Um, <clears throat> walk me through that, from that time up until, just tell me that where you drove to, where you stopped, um, who you called, who you so On the way to. back, uh, I didn't call anyone until I got out to Lehigh. I'll actually pass, well, to the freeway, I think. Um, I just head north, you know, just head east and north. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I saw a Lehigh sign, so I was like, yeah, take Lehigh. Um, stop to wash the car. It's, you know, they get pretty dirty out there. Right. Where'd you stop and wash the when car? When it's at? snowing and raining. Yeah. <coughs> Where'd you stop I, and wash the car at? <coughs> just, uh, just the first car wash I saw. Where's that at? In, I guess it's in Lehigh. What road were you on? Couldn't tell you. That one that comes through Lehigh. Okay. What, uh, what was the car wash like? What kind of a car wash was it? Um, well, it was a yeah, self-serve. Self-serve? Yeah. Okay. What was the name of it? I have no clue. How did you pay it Just for the cash. services? So when you say self-serve, is that um, describe what it looks like? Just garages that you can pull into and wash. Okay. You just get your pressure washer. No attendant that's there, no gas station. Okay. No, there. How many bays are there? I don't even know. There's, there's a handful. What side of the road's it on? North. Okay. 
So, if I remember correctly, you had to use Redwood Road to get to that road that takes you through Lehigh, right? No, Red, that, no. Redwood, I think, runs north-south. Right. So the road that you're on that you was coming out of... Um, that was east-west. Yeah, that road runs straight into the main road that runs into Lehigh. Yeah. Okay. So when you come through the intersection there at Redwood Road and, and uh, this road that you're on, uh, do you know what I'm talking about? That area? I'm sorry, what did you say? Oh, you're talking about on the... The crossing roads of Redwood Road and the road that you were on that takes you into Lehigh. I didn't even pay attention to that. Okay. Well, I'm just, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get an idea of where this car wash is at. I mean, it was just the first one I saw. Well, I'm sure if I showed you a map, you'd be able to point out the route you took, right? I assume so. Maybe. Uh, well, let's move on. So you stop wash the car. Um, and I mean, then I don't know how many roads there are going to Lehigh. I don't think there's that many. No. <clears throat> what are some other buildings that are around this car wash? Describe the area to me around there. What does I it look don't know. Like? I just... You know, at that point we were thinking about lunch and I wasn't really thinking about too much else. Okay. It's snowing at the time, right? Uh, no. It's kind of flurries. Uh, maybe, yeah. I don't think it was snowing <clears throat> during the day. Okay. So, after you're finished with the car wash, then what? Oh, actually there were flurries. No, you're right, there were flurries. Um... Got lunch. Where at? McDonald's. Which one? Um, that one was right next to the freeway. Where where at? What freeway now? Um <clears throat> was it fifteen going south, going north? Mm hmm West and South. Where, like in Salt Lake or? Well, Lehigh. Lehigh, okay. So McDonald's, I-15, next to the freeway there in Lehigh? Mm-hmm. Okay, how'd you pay? I think probably cash. Do you typically always pay cash for everything? I mean, things like that I do. I mean, it depends. I mean, sometimes I buy food with credit card. Mm -hmm. But then it depresses me to see the credit card bill, so... Yeah, absolutely. Sometimes I pay cash, so I... What about your debit card? Do you use debit card? Um, no. Okay. Well, so I mean, I have my own. I, I, I occasionally do. I usually only make the, you know you know, bigger purchases on the debit card. Okay. Because, you know, you don't want to crack up the credit. Okay. So you're certainly used cash at the McDonald's then? Um, I don't know. I, I think I did. Okay. I'll see if you can try to remember if you did or not. I suppose it would show up on the bill if I... Yeah. He's a credit. Where did you go from uh, McDonald's after that? What did you do? Um, just drove north on the freeway. Mm -hmm. um, I actually tried to call Susan to see you know, just to let her know that I was back. That I was coming back. What time was that? I just I can't even remember. After lunch? Yeah, I mean it was probably two or three. Okay. And then I was just driving with the boys, telling them, you know, just trying to convince them that it's okay to go home. 
Mm-hmm. We don't need to pack it all into one day, you know? Right. Um, sometime later, Giovanna called and told me that there was a, that people were worried about us. Mm-hmm. And that there was people at our house. What time did she call, do you think? I, I don't even remember. <clears throat> I mean, I'm sure it's on the bill. Okay. What did that uh, conversation consist of? Um, just real short. I mean, she just said that there's a bunch of people worried about us. Mm-hmm. There's people at our house. And she's like, where's Susan? And I was like, well, she's at work. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, I thought, I thought she was at work. Mm-hmm. She's like, okay, well, that's good. And that's about it. Okay. And so then I was like, okay, well, that's cool. We're found, so quit obsessing. No big deal, dude. Right. <laughs> I mean, but then it, I was going to pick up Susan and waiting for her, and she didn't come down. And about the time I was trying to decide what to do next, um, it was either my mom or my sister called. I, I think they called me. I, I don't remember. Maybe I called them. I can't even remember at this point, you know? Because during that conversation, that. Um, that's when I found out that she hasn't shown up for work. Mm-hmm. And so, okay. So you say you went to <coughs> you went to her work, right? to pick her up. What time did you get there? Probably 5.35. 5.35? Something like that. <laughs> what time do you usually pick her up from work? 5.35. Okay. What time does she get off of work? 5.30. Okay. It takes her five minutes to get down. Okay. Five to ten. It depends on the day. Right. So you're saying there you're there definitely seven at five thirty. Um, yeah. I'm okay. Sure. And she doesn't come out. How long do you wait till? Till I left from that with that fucking phone call. Okay. After that it, you know she, they, they, they said she didn't go to work, and so I was like, well, I'm, okay, there's no point sitting here then. Mm-hmm. Did they ask you, didn't Jennifer ask you if you went to work? When she first had called, did she say to you, didn't you go to work today? I don't remember any details on that, because... I was just focused on the one fact, trying to figure out why Susan didn't go to work. Mm-hmm. Okay. And obviously with people at home, um, create some concern, you know? Because there's already people saying that they're looking for all four of us. Mm-hmm. Well, at that point, I realized that they were looking for all four of us, you know. Mm-hmm. Earlier, I thought it was just the three of us. Okay, so after you talked to Jennifer, um, or while you talked to Jennifer, tell me what the 
Tell me everything about that conversation. I, I just can't even remember. Tell me what you do remember. I, it's just like a black blank, you know? Tell me what happens after you disconnect the phone with Jennifer. Um, just started heading home. Mm -hmm. um, just trying to find some food for the boys. Mm -hmm. Trying to convince them to both eat the same, or at least be willing to eat the same thing. Mm -hmm. um, the two-year-old is trying to assert his independence, so he likes to be disagreeable. Mm -hmm. Right. And I mean, sometimes I indulge him, sometimes I don't, you know how it goes. Right. Um, uh, I finally bought some pizza. And then that's when you came to the house. And that's when you and I met, right? Yeah, and in fact, was it, I don't know, was it you that called me? Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. About that time, I, yeah, you called, and, and I very soon told Brayden that he's out of luck. Yeah. Because he doesn't get the... Do you want me to I grab you a drink of water or a soda now, or anything? We have some Coke products. No. Okay. Um. Yeah, I guess. I, I guess if you've got. Um, what do you want? Honestly, I'd rather just take it to my boys. Okay. Um, but maybe a root beer. I don't know if we have root beer. But Sprite. Is that what you want? Orange. To drink? Um, something like that. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll just take it to my boys, though. I just one sec, okay. <laughs>
Yeah, no, I see. Okay. So just make yourself comfortable. So, the is there s- so no, it's, I wouldn't have to see if I had a dollar in my. Uh, oh, it's a bending machine. Yeah, it's a bending machine. No, it's so okay. I, don't need I thought I had some cash. I was going to grab me one and grab you one. And I don't have the stupid. I don't have any no, cash. So then I ran to my desk. They're. But, um, um, they can be a rip off. Oh, yeah. Well, especially here, it's a dollar twenty-five. So, for a bottle. Yeah, for or a can. bottle. Yeah, it's at least uh, better than a can. Yeah, it's crazy. It's 16 or 24 ounces. Yeah. So when you called, um, so you said you called Susan, right? After lunchtime, did you call anybody else? I don't recall calling anyone else. Okay. And when you called Susan's phone, was her phone on or off? Um, usually when I'm making a call, I have to fiddle with the headset. Okay. Or I think in this case the headset was lost uh-huh. in the car, but I ended up finding it this morning. Okay. That's the one that you saw. But, right, right. Um, but yeah, I, I don't even know. I mean, I usually figure it's just going to ring, so I, I don't bother even put it to my ear until, until I can get the headset on, you know? I don't, I don't even know what. So you don't know if it rang or if... I, I don't, I don't know. Did you speak to her at all? No. Okay. No, I just got voicemail. All right. And what number did you call? 910-8281. Okay. All right. And you're saying it just went to voicemail. Did you leave her a message? Yeah. Okay. What, um... Well, she carries this phone with her all the time. I'm assuming it's her personal cell phone, right? Yeah. Okay. So when she's at work, um, does she usually leave the phone on or off? Um, depends. I, I think she, well, she sometimes turns it off. She sometimes turns it off? Yeah. Is there a, um, like an office number to reach her at? at her work? Um, I just found out today that there is an office, a direct line, but she's always told me to call her supervisor. So okay. I, <clears throat> so know, I she, don't ever have to call them, so I don't think about it, you know? Right. I mean, right. But I, if you if you wanted to get a hold of her and she's at work, how phone. would you just call her cell phone? And leave a message. I mean, she gets them eventually. Right. Yeah, but, I mean, if she's busy, she obviously can't answer. Yeah, I mean, she's in a call center, so it... Is that what... What, what describe... Do you know... Are you familiar with her job? Uh, I've never done it, but... Oh, I mean... It's approximately... Take a phone call... Deal with some moron... Yeah. <laughs> this is what she tells me. Okay. Some, uh, you know... Some days it's busy, some days it's slow. Okay. Uh, so some days she can just sit there and surf the internet or whatever it is she does. All right. What um, 
What does she typically work? Monday through Friday? What, um, I mean, what days of the week does she typically work? Monday, Tuesday, Friday, Saturday. Okay. So Monday, Tuesday, and what, Friday, Saturday? Friday, Saturday. So she has Wednesdays, Thursdays off, and Sunday? Um, yeah. Well, it's got to be nice for daycare. Uh, it's better. Yeah. I mean... <clears throat> and it's two days you don't have to pay for, right? Yeah, we pay less. Not as much less as, you know, not two, not three-fifths of the amount, but more than that. Yeah. Are you the one asking for the Sprite? Oh, yeah. Thank oh, you. Thanks. You're welcome. Very good. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> yeah, I, sorry, I didn't know these were in a vending machine. I thought they were just no, it's all right. in so a I'm fridge sure that supplied, you know. Yeah, it's all right. But my boys just get so excited. <clears throat> you think, why would she... Has she ever left your boys before? I just want to do so, something special for them. Has she ever left the boys before? I mean, during the day, but not... not any extended period. Why do you think she left this time? I don't know. I mean, she only, you know, you know, if it's her day off, she sleeps in. And if it's her day to work, she gets up and goes to work. I just can't even think of, of what is going on. Well, I need your help, Josh. I mean, you know her better than we do. She's left your boys. She's left you. No, I don't think she did. You don't think so? No. Help me. I think she her. would have gone to work. Okay. She, she would have tried to go to work. Right. I mean, that's what she would have been in the process of doing. Mm -hmm. She didn't go to work. We know that. Right? Yeah, she didn't go to work. She didn't go to work. I guess that's cold. So that's why I need your help. I need your help to help me. Um, I need you to help me find her. Tell me where I need to look for her. Because you're the closest one to her. I just can't think of any place that she would be going. Aside from work, or if she was intending to go to a friend's house or something, she would have. Mm -hmm. Do you have any voicemails on your phone from her? I'm sure she was probably um, concerned for you, know you and the boys. I was making calls this morning and I didn't realize, I guess my phone has been just bugging out, so. What do you mean? Um, it just cuts out and, okay. and dies, you know. Okay, but so. that doesn't stop your voicemail. Well, not the voicemail, yeah. but I didn't hear it ring because of that, and okay. so I mean, and I, I think there is a voicemail. I mean, if she's gone, which uh, I should probably check. I might as well. You don't mind if I check it? We mind doing it on Audex, so I can listen, like on speaker, so I can hear it. Oh. Okay. Well. Yeah, if you can do it on speaker, that'd be great, and that way I can listen because, you know, I mean, you're sad. The boy, the girl. I'm sure the boys are sad. I mean, I'm sure that she was concerned for you guys and probably, you know, called your phone to see how you guys are, hadn't heard from you, wondering where you guys are at. I told her I'd be back in the, in the morning. morning. But you didn't even get back until 
later that afternoon. Right? Yeah. My voicemail. I don't think there was a voicemail yesterday. My voicemail. My voicemail. I don't know why I can't think number. straight. Can you just call your voicemail? No, I can. I would respond. When was the last time you checked your voicemail? I think it was last night. Was there any voicemails on there from her? It was yesterday. No. There it notifies any. me when there's a voicemail, so I yeah. actually don't even think to check it unless it notifies me. Saved ones, that's a problem. Yeah. Well, is that to you? Apparently, my mom called. Oh. Um, Sorry, so I didn't realize there was another. No, oh, it's okay. So, was there, uh, so there was no message from her yesterday, though? No. Okay, that's, that's fine. We don't need to go through your saved messages. That's okay. Let's see if what? there's any other new ones, real quick. Who's that called? My mom. Your mom. Right, so. I totally I don't think that I was. Okay. After all the commotion last night, I wasn't thinking about voice. That's okay. What um oh, new message? Hold on. been in touch with your work? Yeah. Have you talked to them? Okay. Have you talked to anybody at her work? Have you called her work at all trying to get the... You called her? That's me, dude. 
<coughs> you were just saying to call yeah. you. I don't want to sit here and listen to all your messages, Rob. I'll save that one because it has your cell phone. Can okay, you just okay, move say. on? I don't want to sit here and listen to all your messages, dude. We need to find your wife. What, um, did you call her work at all and see if you could? Um, I've been trying to track down the phone number. Cause did you? Oh, you? I thought you said you had a number for her supervisor. I thought I did, but I oh. couldn't find it in my phone, so I, I ended up calling to try to get it. Okay. Well, I, I haven't had a chance to call it yet. And the only reason I'm asking is if you had heard anything different than what they told me. You know what I mean? With you being her husband, maybe they would tell you something that they didn't tell us. You know what I mean? Right. So That's you haven't you, have, you haven't talked to them? No. Okay. I was actually um, I've been trying to track down the number and I did finally get it. And you did okay. But I just haven't had a chance to call. Okay. I was gonna Call Is there anybody work? else that you've uh, called to follow up on to see where she's at? I just called her dad. You called attorney. her dad? Yeah. And your attorney? No, pretty your legal attorneys, yeah. Oh. <laughs> what, uh, have you called anybody else to follow up on where, I mean, to try to find her at all? I've been trying to think of who to call. Mm -hmm. But this morning has been just trying to struggle with the morning routine, get the boys yeah. ready, waiting for my mom. Oh, and I did see some friend. Uh, oh, and Dax and Mindy, I forgot about them. They're, they're so our friends. Okay. Uh, Dax. I, uh, Gu I see. <coughs> Guzman. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on this. Okay. Did you talk to anybody last night? He dropped by the house. Okay. Did you talk to anybody last there. night? As trying to find out where she could have been. No. Um, I talked to my dad and my family. Last night. Yeah. Were they of any help? Um, I, I think, you know, I, they just updated me the same things that other people did. And you spoke to her dad, right, today? Uh, yeah. Was that today? Yeah, that was Did he have anything additional? No. Okay. All right. Um, have you called, like, any other places where she could be? I mean... <clears throat> Have you checked any places where she could be? I haven't had much of a chance to okay. do any of that yet. All right. Um, if there were places, I mean, if there's places that we need to go check, what places should we go check to see if we can find her? Beauty supply? I don't think she would be there, but she likes them. Okay. Beauty supply? Okay, so beauty supply, where's that at? Uh, she has so many. Oh, I forgot to mention she's a licensed cosmetologist in Washington, but not here. Okay. <clears throat> but you don't know what beauty supply store she would frequent? Um, I, she does go to Sally's. Um, and I don't remember if it's Sally's or a different one on somewhere near Bangor and, uh, I think 35th. Okay. Um, I think it's right there with an Albertsons. Oh, okay. I think it's, yeah. yeah. 36 West, maybe. Over. Yeah, something like that. Okay. Well. Let's go back to her work schedule. You say Monday, Tuesday, um, Friday, Saturday. What are her typical hours that she works? Uh, 7 to 5.30. And that's where she works all the time? Typically, I mean, she took the morning off on okay. Saturday. Okay, so on Saturday she'd work that as well? Yeah. Okay. Does she go to the gym at all? No. Does she frequent a she gym? She has a gym at work. Okay. So she wouldn't be going to no gym? No. 
Um, I guess the difficult thing in this particular case is we don't have a vehicle to look for because she doesn't have access to a vehicle to drive, right? Because you just have the one vehicle, the minivan. Yeah, we just have okay. one car. So if she wanted to leave sometime between midnight and um, say 10 a.m., um, how would she get from wherever? If, how would she leave the house? Who would? How would she? What would she use for transportation? Um, typically, I think she would either get a ride with someone or okay. ride the bus. Does she ride the bus frequently? No. Often? No. Okay. It's real rare. Who would she get a ride from? Who would be the person I need to call and say, hey, did you pick up and take Susan anywhere um, on Monday? Debbie. And that's Debbie, that's the daycare provider, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Linda. Who's Linda? The lady at work. Okay. <clears throat> at her work. Mm -hmm. um, Jovan. Okay. I think maybe she's gotten a ride from Judy a few times. Who's Judy? Uh, Judy Wade. Oh, okay. All right. So those would be the people she would call for a ride? Okay. I mean, you know, I'm sure there's other people. I just, they're not all coming. Kiersey would probably be one. Yeah. No. <laughs> um. No. Last resort. For you or for her? She doesn't like to in position Kirsty. Okay. All right. That's the way Kirsty. That's just Kirsty's personality, you know. She's. Okay. I mean, she would do it. Don't get me wrong. She right. would, I'm sure. But. Okay. Oh, by um, the way, don't tell her that I said so. I won't tell her. <laughs> I will not tell her. Okay, so no Jim, she was able to get a ride. These are the four people she would call that you can think of right now, right? Yeah. Was she on any medication at all? Um, she was on something, but I did. I thought it was over, but maybe it's not. What would that be? She, she had a bad earache and oh. um, she had, uh, I don't know, the flu. Any other any other medication that she would have to take on a daily basis, say for a medical condition or a mental uh, disability or anything like that? It's, there's nothing regular. Okay. Right. There's none that I know of. Okay. Why would she leave her, uh, any thoughts on why she would leave behind her purse? Well, she doesn't always take a purse because it's bulky, you know. Well, women go everywhere with their purse. That's where their hairspray is and their she, makeup and their money. Um, she doesn't always take it. Okay. I mean, what are some examples of some times when she wouldn't take her purse? Um, I don't think she took it to that party. I don't think she takes it to church. Um, you know, most of the time if she doesn't, you know, if she's just going somewhere mm -hmm. that she doesn't think she needs anything, then she'll just leave it. Um, okay. But if she, you know, if, she's, if we're going somewhere together, mm -hmm. she frequently just leaves it. <laughs> <coughs> she assumes that I'll have to eat. And stuff. Right, right. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I guess that's the other thing too is her keys. Yeah, I found out my mom took the keys. In fact, she still has them. Okay, did she give them back? To, she didn't give them back to you? No. What, uh, did you see her keys from last night? Um, I never did. You didn't? Did you talk to your mom about the keys? 
this morning. Okay. I asked because I, I, I looked in a, Go ahead. I looked in her purse to try to see, you know, if there was anything in there significant or if, if keys were there. And they weren't, so I thought you guys took them. No, I did. Um, but your, your mom had them. My mom took them. Yeah. So Actually, was the I house you guys took my headset too. <laughs> no, we don't take. We don't take. I, I was wondering. In fact, are, do you guys take stuff? No. Without telling me. No. Okay. We have no reason to take anything. I was just wondering. I thought that, but <clears throat> no. I just, like I say, I just have been. What uh, was the house key that was the house key on her set of keys? <sighs> um, my mom assumed it was. And I didn't even get around to talking to her about the fact that I don't think it is, mm -hmm. unless it's clipped on, you know. Right. Um, so we would have to verify. Okay, no problem. Um, what about um, the kids? Did the kids say anything to you? You know, because no. if, if uh, mom was talking to somebody else on the phone, right? Say if she was talking to somebody on the phone or talking to somebody, right. she was they talking about. It. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Kids are always talking. So I mean, did, while you were with the kids last night and um, um, yesterday, and uh, the night before yesterday that morning or anything, I mean, did did the kids ever say anything that you thought was kind of like kind of weird? Like, wow, mm -hmm. where did you come up with that? No, no. Mm. And they. Um, They're just acting normal. Are they? Have they asked where mom is at? They, I think they're overhearing all of our conversations. And they're just, I guess, coping or something. I don't know. Mm -hmm. So they haven't questioned or inquired as to where mom's at? Well, they did yesterday, but, you know. When, when yesterday? On the way home, you know, he was Charlie was saying he wants to go tell her about a rattlesnake or something. Okay. On the way home from the Pony Express road. Yeah. Okay. But since then, you know, it's you know, I mean, he might he, he before all this started, he said that he wanted to tell her so or something a few times, you know. Yeah. But then, since then, they haven't. I, I mean, I'm sure they know that okay. she isn't around. Yeah. And I don't... And that's why I asked I if they had asked you about that, because... I don't know if I need yeah, to they haven't talk seen. to them or what. Okay. I guess what, I will. <clears throat> what, um... Is there any... Does she have any enemies? Is there any enemies out there that, uh... Um, she gave keys to the daycare provider, and I don't know who else. Okay. Um, so I don't know who has keys to our house, to okay. be honest. Why would she give keys to the daycare provider? Um, she's afraid of getting locked out. <laughs> oh. Um, yeah. Yeah. But I, you know, she never mentioned it to me. So I only found told. out after the fact, you know. After and, what fact? Well, after she gave the keys away. And so I didn't know that she was giving them out to her. And so I don't know who else she could have given them to. So did uh, did Susan tell you that she gave the key to the daycare provider? After um, she gave her the key? Is that what you're Actually, to be honest, I found out from from my family. Okay. Yesterday? Yeah, and so I was kind of pissed off that they broke the window. If she, someone who started inquiring, if she had a key. Uh huh. But what can you do? Okay. So you actually didn't know that she gave the daycare provider a key until yesterday? I, I didn't really. And you think the reason why she gave her a key is because. Well, that's what they told me, that she was afraid of getting locked out. Oh, okay. And the daycare provider? Backup. The daycare provider told you that? No, I don't know how they found that out. I don't know either. Like I 
it said when uh, our patrol officer I, I guess I should ask them if they've talked to her or something. Yeah. Um, um, maybe my sister talked to her, and then my sister talked to my dad, and then my dad and my brother and sister told me. And yeah. I don't know which channel it went through. Okay. Um, what about close people? I mean, you've mentioned Linda as a person at her work. Are there some other close people at her work that uh, that you know of that maybe I need to talk to? I mean, there are, but I I don't really know their names. I don't ever see them because yeah. she'll if she's going to go do something with them. Um, usually, it's either during work or I think a couple times she did girls' nights, and I don't I don't always ask who it's with. It's just like, I'm doing a girl's night, okay, whatever. Okay. We kind of got off track here on the enemies thing. You brought up a, that the key was given to a daycare provider, um, which has nothing to do with the enemies. Does she does she have any enemies out there, any people that well, don't I, like Well, I her? just mentioned the key thing, because mm -hmm. if there's keys floating around, mm -hmm. it, you just don't know. Okay. So... But um, I don't <clears> know... <throat> I don't think she has any enemies. I mean, okay. you know, she'll sometimes report problems when they see them, but you know, I, I don't think anyone in our neighborhood would be malicious, you know? Mm -hmm. okay. Teenagers breaking windows, but other than that, that's. So no, so no enemies. Nobody that would want to harm her. Nobody that would want to. That's mad at her, that you know of. I can't think of anyone. Okay. Um, how about suicide, depression? Was she that she was um, she ever suicidal or depressed? She was suicidal. She but was. Yeah. When's that? Well, Tell me everything about that. I thought that was over. Okay. Tell me everything about that. Um, she just, um, <laughs> she was just sad, I guess. I mean, I what just, was she I sad just, about? Well, I, I was always, um, I don't know, I mean, I do a lot, you know, but I don't always do everything that she wants, and, you know, for a while we were not affectionate, you know, and mm -hmm. I guess that was depressing, and I, I don't know if maybe she was upset about work or something, but I don't know at all. I mean, like I say, we didn't do a whole lot of talking about it, and I thought that she was over it, you know? Okay. Well, you say that she was sad, and she was sad, and then you mentioned that you weren't that affectionate together, and that uh, you mentioned that sometimes you weren't do the things that she asked. Um, are you thinking that well, that sometimes she thinks caused her to be sad? Something, you know. Are you saying that those that, that caused her to be sad? Um, I, I don't know. I mean, honestly, honestly, I think her mom is crazy. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and honestly, I think that there's some that's down genetic path. Inheritance on that, but I don't think she's ever been diagnosed with anything. And like I say, it's not really never been really a huge problem, you know. It's never been a big problem. Why would you say that she's been suicidal in the past? Then, well, I mean, she told me. What did she tell you? 
basically what I told you that she was just depressed, you know, mainly about, I mean, I, you know, just the affection issue and, um, mentioned a few things about work, but I don't remember, I don't remember what, you know, um, and some friends, but I don't remember any details on that, or that she wasn't hanging out with friends enough or something, you know. Did she ever, uh, did she ever attempt to commit suicide? I don't think so. Um, did she ever talk about committing suicide? No, not with me. Okay. Um, did she ever talk about depression or being in a deep depression or being depressed? Um, only, really only once with me. Okay. When was that? I mean, that's been... Months ago. Months ago? Or, I, I don't know. I don't either. Six then, months maybe, or okay. actually it could have been six months or a year, I don't know. Okay. Tell me everything about that. Well, that's what I just told you. What, that there's affection issues, she wasn't spending enough time with her friends, and you wouldn't do the things that she liked you to do? Yeah. Okay, so those, those kind of things. So those are the contributors to her being sad and being depressed? That's what she told me. Okay. And um, out of those contributors, of, of those problems or concerns that she had, how did that affect your guys' relationship? started seeing a counselor. Oh, and she was depressed that I wasn't going to church. Okay. Um, <coughs> so, um, things have been going good, you know? I mean, we always vent in front of the counselor, you know how that goes. That's yeah. like the safe spot to say what you don't want to say normally. Mm -hmm. But, otherwise, I mean, throughout the weeks and months, I mean, I don't know, we just try to do little things, you know? I mean, I try to do a little more helping out around the house, you know? And, mm -hmm. and she has a little bit of a temper, so. She said she would work on that. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, she has, you know. But that's where I say her mother is crazy. And I've been trying to convince her that you gotta get some shrink to pound your mother out of you. <laughs> but she doesn't see it that way. She, she gets really mad when I say anything about her mother. Well, yeah, like most, most wives do. Most definitely. But, um, so with this, what we've just discussed, are you saying that this has been going on for the last six months to a year? Well, no, Or has this know. been going on throughout your relationship? I mean, we, oh, no. And it's, we're just trying to give a timeline on this. Um, well, I mean, her being sad because of the affection issues. I only, I not only spend time with her friends, not going to church, you not doing things that she asked. Is that was that a longevity problem throughout your relationship, and you started addressing well, it's not six months that she ago? Has to ask. She just wants me to figure it out. You know? Okay. But again, is it, was, was this a longevity problem throughout the relationship, and it? And you guys started addressing it six months ago, or um, is this something that um, has just developed over the last six months? 
But you gave me a six months to a year time frame. Well, so I'm trying to. It seems to me that we start seeing a counselor. I, I don't know when, but it's been quite a few months. Okay, so six months to a year ago, you started seeing a counselor. Uh, that's not it. Been a year with the counselor. Okay. Um. I I honestly don't remember how long. Okay. So this has been a relationship issue throughout your guys' relationship, and you're starting to address it. You've just been addressing it recently with a counselor. Is that correct? Um. Need some water or anything? Want some water? I'm okay. Thanks. You're good? Okay. Hey, can I talk to you? Just one second. Yeah, he had to go make a phone call real quick. He had a, somebody on the phone. So, just... I'm actually thinking I'm going to have to wrap it up here pretty quick because okay. I'm feeling pretty, uh, pretty well, sick at here, this here's, point. here's what we're trying to do. So, you know, we're just trying to help you out. I know what you're probably kind of a little bit scared right now. Um, a little bit. Yeah, you know what? Let me tell you something, okay? Being scared is normal. Everybody gets scared. Okay? I mean, I, I get scared coming in. I don't even know who you are. Coming in here talking to you. Okay. Um, so, you know, just basically what I want you to do is relax. If there's anything I can do for you, I can give you some water. No, um, I got the... You got you to drink I'm going to take it to my sons because they, they need it more than me. Okay. Well, tell me how you're feeling right now. Just see if I can help you out. What's going on? Um... I mean, let me help you out, man. Okay? <laughs> Seriously. Um, honestly, kind of confused and distracted. And I'm pre pretty worried. She would I don't care. <sighs> um I'm just worried about what the possibilities are, you know? And I'm um, not getting more encouraged over time. And I mean, there's obviously a little bit of worry about, you know, what, you know, what's going to happen to me or my boys, you know, but right. What can I do to help you with that? I I don't know. Just have to take it one. One day at a time. All right. Well, I understand you're a little frustrated that you've been sitting here talking to us for a while, but it's not frustrating. It's just it's a little bit hard. But what I want you to understand is, is we, we, we're doing I everything. Just, we're going to do everything possible to help you out, help out. You know, try to find your find your wife, and we need to do this. It's not fun for us, it's not fun for you. But we do have to do this. And I know sometimes you just feel like, I know. Yeah, you've been sitting here talking to us for a little bit, but uh, you're the only one that's going to be able to help us. Well, I was really concerned when they're sitting there making light of like this, and I'm going, yeah. that's starting to get a little bit right. scary, you know, and also the fact made a big deal about the cell phone, which I didn't even, I'd forgotten that I had it at all. Right. Well, again, we're just doing our job, you know? 
and if there's, there's going to be questions that are going to make you uncomfortable, and there'll be questions that you probably understand why we're asking those questions. So you need to understand, put yourself in our in our place. Yes, I, I'm trying to do that. You know, and I know it's kind of tough for you to put yourself in that spot, especially when your your mind's going, probably, probably going a lot's going through your mind right now. Yeah, and I and trying to figure out what what's going on, but um, just be patient with us, okay? I mean, I'm I'm trying, you know. I'm just trying to take it one day, one minute at a time, I guess. Right. Well, Are um, you a grief counselor or something? No, I'm a detective for West Valley. I am. No, it's just uh, come in here and just uh, say hi while he's on the phone so you're not here by yourself wondering what's going on. Well, I appreciate it because every time I sit in here by myself, I just want to leave. Yeah, I don't want you to do that because we've got to get to you know, figure out who can help you. That's all I'm doing. Oh, I, just I know. It's so how long have you been married for? Um, it almost seems like it was 2001, April, or, yeah, 2001. Now, this is the first time you were married? You've never been married? I think it was 2001. You know, for some reason, 2000 is stuck in my head, too. Mm -hmm. and you can't remember? All that. these little, uh, I normally can, but I can normally remember my boys' birthdays, too, but, you know... I can't even remember why I'm walking into a room. I have to walk in there yeah. several times and then walk back out. Like I was trying to fix that window with a piece of cardboard and I, could, I kept measuring it and I couldn't remember the measurement like well, six times. What window is this? They busted a window in my house. Oh, they did? Who did? I don't know. I guess it was the detector. Detective. Um, oh, what, what was his name? Uh, Maxwell. Oh, Maxwell. Uh -huh. I'm trying to. Yeah, they broke a window. Um, apparently See, in the I, don't know, I don't know anything about this case. I'm just here to just kind of. Keep well, they were worried about if we were in there. Supposedly, we were in there suffocating. Oh, really? So they wanted to break a window and find out, you know. So they went in, they did whatever they wanted to do, I guess. Right. Um, I was told that they went through some things, I don't know what all they went through. Um, I, I assume they went through the whole house. Okay. I wasn't aware of that. So, so do you want me to see if he's done? If you want to just wait here, I'll hurry and we'll like I say, he just has to talk to about a couple little things more, and we'll be uh, we'll be done here. I don't know what match. I don't know. I have to talk to him and find out what he's doing. Yeah, I'm I'm actually starting to feel pretty sick, so I'm. Do you want to go to the bathroom? No. Can you use the restroom, or anything? Okay. Let me go and tell him that how you're feeling. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay. Where'd my buddy go? Oh, uh, he left. You all right? Uh, yeah. Okay. I just am feeling sick, so I think I'm... Oh. We want to leave here. Get some medicine. Uh, well... <clears throat> yeah, I mean, that wouldn't be bad. Okay. Well, yeah, if you want to leave, you can leave. I just, um... Well, I, mean, I just am trying to tough it out, you know? Yeah, no, I, you know, I understand. Josh, I understand this is very difficult. And you know what, Josh? Yeah. It's, I, I understand this is very difficult for you. 
Okay. I, I, I mean, I haven't been in your position before where I left and I came home and my wife was gone. Okay. But I, I've never been there. Yeah. But I've been on this end of it, you know, and I've experienced a lot of different cases and different people involved in different situations and, and your experience just a, a rage of different emotions. Okay? Yeah. And, and it's and it's what I wanted to explain to you is it's difficult for me because I just am trying to help, um, you know, whoever it is that I, I'm trying to help. And in this particular case, I'm trying to help Susan and trying yeah. to help you. And, you know, because we need to find okay. her. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I know. It, I mean, I wish I could sit here and cry with you and I have to control I, my I emotions. Know. And, you, you, I know. I know. It's, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, you know, I, I, know. I mean, if you want to take off, you can take off. I'm not, you know, I'm I, not I don't to, expect you guys to okay. cry with me. You know, and I'm just... That's what family is for. Okay. All right. Um, you know, I just want to, I was kind of hoping that today we could get a little bit further and come up with some more ideas as to where to look. You know what I'm saying? You've... I mean, I talked to you last night, and we really didn't. Come, we didn't. We came up with absolutely nothing to look for, to look, to look, where to look for her, other than people that you know I've already spoken to. And I was hoping that, with you being home and you, you know, getting a little tiny bit of rest, and uh, coming back today, yeah, would be hours. able to offer, you know, me and this department. And, and all these other people that are out there to try to find out where to look for her, okay? And we haven't gotten there today. I just, you know, I try to come in and talk with you a little bit about who you are and what you're about and what Susan is and what she's about and what she likes and your guys' relationship and um, her friends and, you know, her enemies and her work and your work. Try and like I say, she files complaints against people if there's a problem. Yeah. Like a dog, a cat, or a okay. whatever it is, but I don't think that they're. No. Yeah. They're not even supposed to know who complains. Was she into know. drugs at all? Illicit I've drugs, never, cocaine, marijuana, stuff I've, like that? I've never known her to do anything. I wouldn't think so either, but you know, it's just one of the questions that I didn't ask. You know what I mean? Yeah. No. I mean, I'm just trying I've never to notice anything out of the usual. <clears throat> okay. What, um, I mean, like I said, we haven't, uh, we haven't really gotten anywhere with, uh, well, with locations to check and stuff. What, uh, what do you, what have you thought of? I just can't think of anywhere she would go in the morning. Other than to work. Yeah, I mean, okay. Who should I be looking at? You think somebody, I mean, is there somebody I need to look at? Maybe, um, I mean, what do you, what do you, I just, let's, I don't let's think do she this. has enemies. Yeah. Let's, you know? How about this question? Um, you've had a significant amount of time to sit and think about this, right? I mean, when did we, see each other yesterday about six o'clock yeah um, and it's you know in the afternoon now yeah. what what's going through your mind what do you what do you think what has crossed your mind what do you think has happened to her I need you to tell me what you think has happened to her She would leave on her own. Okay, that's a start. You don't think she would leave on her own? What do you, what do you think has happened? <clears throat> I just don't know. I mean, you know, you can sit and speculate, but I don't have any clue. Okay. What do you think I'm speculating? I, I don't know. Well, something must have crossed your mind for you to say that to well, me. You guys, you know, I mean, it's a fact, you know. The 
closest people to a person is always the top suspects. So, okay, they're not suspects. I mean, you have to. I mean, there has to be some type of involvement to be a suspect. I mean, uh, maybe. I mean, so it's not always like that. But we got to start. If if you were on my side, okay, let's let's do this real okay. quick. If you're sitting where I am and I'm sitting where you are, okay, okay. and my wife is missing. Who is the very first person, and who is the, that person going to be that you're going to spend the most time with trying to get as much information from? Probably the closest ones. The closest ones to them? Yeah. Okay. And if I'm married, who would be the yeah, closest I'm, one to me? Would I'm, it be I'm probably the spouse? The closest one. Or would it be the parents? Um, no, the spouse. <laughs> Because I'm guessing you don't spend a whole lot of time with her mom, right? And would you if you live next door to him? Yeah, yeah, we would actually. Okay. I mean, but she's kind of, kind of hard to deal with. But who do you spend more time she, she's with? She's okay, you know. But yeah. um, no, I know, I know. But, but you know, who would you spend more time with? Your wife or your mom? Your mom lives here. My your wife. wife. Okay. How about your sister or your no, wife? It's the same. 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 Okay. So, I mean, so I don't, I, want I don't have any friends <clears throat> that I would spend more time with or anything. Okay. I mean, work maybe, but hey, that's work, you know. Have number I mean, of hours. Okay. Have I there. told you that you're a suspect? Well, it's felt like that a few times. Has it felt like that? What do what you mean? What's, what's okay. made you feel like when that? You keep, you know, you're telling me that this... I took well, photos, I thought you I were took implying your hands you're one you're time. saying you know you really made a big deal out of this by asking you where you got a nick on your hand. I thought you were trying to say I got some kind of defensive wounds, you know. I never said that though, did I? <sighs> Seemed implied. Okay, but all I did was inquire about a nick on your hand, and then you know, and the kind of, um, you know, I mean, you've been worried about that ever since we got here today. You want me to take photos again of your hands? I kind of do. Okay. Because well, uh, I want to have you? both photos okay. available, you well, know? Well, what does it tell you now? I mean, I haven't came in here with a camera. I haven't even worried about your hands, but you're yeah. still worrying about it. I just want my second photos, <clears> man, because I was just to prove that they're, they do it on their own. Yeah, and that's I mean, this stuff, you know, some of these, if I don't take care of it fast enough, yeah. It just and gets worse and worse, and then chunks fall out. Yeah, I understand. And I'm I amazed have, that this my one brother has that. really dirt, really dry skin as well. So I, I that's understand. A, that's a chunk, a very small chunk. I mean, I don't feel them, you know. Right. I mean, I do if I. I'm sure, I would if I poured alcohol on them, yeah. but I don't feel them, so I don't know when they're coming. Okay. Um, and like I say, I've only been looking at it the last day yeah and actually paying attention who should I look at as a suspect I don't I can't think of anyone who you can't think of anyone word. who should I look at as a person of interest who should I start talking to just as much as I've been talking to you who should I talk to that much because <clears throat> you're saying that you're concerned because we've been talking to you for so long. Um, well, that's but not I mean, really a concern. It's, oh, okay. Because it's only my perception is I'm trying to get as much information as I can get, and you know when I get up and I leave, I go out and I share information. If there's any new information, okay. He states that she works here. That, you know, let's get a hold of Linda. Let's see if Linda may have heard from him. You know what I'm saying? I mean. What, uh, are you concerned as far as, what, what's your thoughts on what we're doing to find her? You haven't even inquired as to what, we, what we're what doing. I have what do, except I, well, I, I already, you already told me that you check the hospitals mm -hmm. and you talk to everyone we know. And what else do you do? Well, I mean, I don't know. We've talked to everybody. Uh, I mean, that's why... You know, we're talking again now just to see if there's any other names. I occasionally think of a new name, but <clears throat> okay. I, I probably could think of more. Okay, how about uh, the neighborhood? Is there anybody in the in the circle in the neighbor? Um, Hood circle Troy's there our that, friend. that are concerns or people 
that we should be concerned about? No, not not suspects. Okay. All right. They're, they're, I think we're friends with everyone in the neighborhood. Okay. And obviously, we know nobody broke into the house. Well, the window was broken. No, I'm just kidding. Besides the cops, to make sure you were all right and your family. Yeah. Right. But as far as anybody else going and then breaking in there and stealing anything or um, creating, stolen. yeah, or, or causing a mess if there was a fight or a disturbance, there was nothing, right? I mean, we walked through the house. Um, I didn't walk through with you, Sergeant Bobrowski did. Was there, um, you know, I think both of you said there was nothing out of place, nothing missing, right? I mean, yeah, nothing, okay. nothing significant was missing. Okay. Um, and there's nobody of a concern in the neighborhood. How about at her workplaces? Would there be anybody at her workplace that that she's had problems with? Um, there's a dude she hates. Okay. What's his name? Shoot, I don't know. Oh. All right. Um, what has she said about this person to you? <laughs> he's annoying. Yeah. And that he's. Uh, I don't remember everything that she said about okay. him. Right. How about um, in church? Is there anybody in church that she's had problems with? <clears throat> I don't think so. You don't think so? I can't think okay. of anyone. All right. I mean, she just thinks the guy is annoying because he's arrogant and stuff, you know? Right. So it's, I just don't think it's... She's never said that he's done anything mean to her except disregard her feelings, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, all right. Is there, um, how, I mean, you know, you, how willing are you to help us with this investigation and to find her? Well, I, I'm willing to do whatever I can think of. Willing to do whatever you can do to help us. What What do you have in mind? Well, I have a couple of ideas, a couple of things. I mean, obviously she's missing. Do you think Do you think her her um, Do you think she's at risk of any harm? Do you think she her her safety is at risk? I mean, do you think her well being? I, I mean, what do you think her well being is right now? What would lead you to believe that? She just doesn't leave. She doesn't ever leave. She's never left the kids. She's never left you. She's never not shown up at work. No. Okay. And she's uh, called, she'll call in if she's not showing up. And right. She'll even call in the morning of if she has to, you know? Okay. And she hasn't called anybody that we're aware of, right? I, I don't know of anyone she called. Okay. Um, and that concerns me because outside of that, think with me, Josh, outside of that, where do we have to go to look for her, to get any additional information, any additional leads to follow up on? I just don't know. Um, I really, really need your help, okay? Okay. I really do, all right? Just as much as you need my help, all right? And, you know, we need to, to do this together, okay? Mm -hmm. Don't we? Yeah, I think so. I think so, too. And we need to, to um, get some closure and find out where she's at. You do not know where she's at. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, <clears throat> there's a couple of things that I want to do. Okay. All right. And this will help us both. All right. All right. Um, and this kind of goes back to 
what I asked you just a few minutes ago about how willing you are to help us, okay? Um, do you consider yourself a suspect? No, but, okay. you know. No, that's, no, that's it. You don't need to elaborate. You don't consider yourself a suspect. You say that, right? Well, I don't, I mean, okay. the facts will speak for themselves, so I don't Thank think. Thank you. Exactly. And you're right. I mean, there has to be facts, there has to be evidence, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, I can't just take anybody and charge them for anything and get away with it. Okay. Right? Okay. I'm not going to have supervisors sign off on something without it being right. checks and balances, courts, all that stuff, right? Right. Okay. So, um, so going back to that, you don't consider yourself a suspect. Um, We need to get this figured out. I have other questions. I have a couple of other questions that I want to ask you, okay? okay. Um, and in order for me to ask you these questions and then ask you to do something else, I have to read you your Miranda rights, okay? Why? The reason why is because it's a... What, do, what does this mean, read me my... Okay, well, let me explain to you. Okay, now. okay let me explain to you, okay? Um, reading your Miranda rights, do you know what Miranda is? Um, I mean, yeah, it's have the right to remain silent and all that. Okay, all right. If you're being read Miranda, what does that mean to you? That you're being accused. Okay. I don't know, accused is a harsh word. Um, kind of a negative word, isn't it? I don't know anything else. Yeah. Um, well, as far as Miranda, okay, in order for me to um, um, ask you some more questions and, and ask you to do this other thing for me, I need to read you your Miranda rights, okay? I don't... And, well, listen... I don't know if I'm... I'm not, well, I'm not going to take you to jail. I'm not arresting you, okay? I'm not arresting you. I'm not taking you to jail, right? Okay. All right, so, I mean, I have questions. I have questions about the, um, 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 I want to ask you about the cell phone, okay? And we kind of chit-chatted about that last night, but I really never got a clear answer from you as to why well, you have to. I already to s told you that I, I was asking for a phone number. Okay. And she said, go get it yourself. Okay. On phone. All right. And eventually okay. put things in my pockets, right. you know, and right. once I realized it was there, I wasn't home, so. Okay. Well, like I, I said. instinctively you're... just put it in the tray, but I don't even think about it. I mean, when I'm, uh, when I'm camping, okay. or out there where I'm not going to need it, right. I'll take out everything from my pockets just so it isn't going to fall okay. and get lost, you know. Um, I want to, I want to talk I mean, to that you. That includes wallets. Okay. All right. Everything. Okay. You're not under arrest. You're not going to jail. Okay. okay. I'm not going to cuff you up. All right. And like I said, again, you're not under arrest. You came here on your free will. You can leave at any time. You already knew that. You still know that, right? Although I want to ask you more specific questions. And, um, and I want to see if, if you say that you're willing to help us out, then what do we need to do? We need to eliminate you as being a person of interest. There's nobody else out there for me to go and talk to and to clarify. So I need to clarify your story. I need to verify guess, your story, right? I guess at that point, then I need to... So I need to verify... I probably need to consider... So I need lawyers. to verify... Okay, well... And if that's the case, then that just is going to prolong the... Um, well, whatever. I, I'm just, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read your rights. Well, I told okay. you everything okay. that I know. All right, listen, I'm going to tell you a couple of things, okay? okay. Um, I'm going to read you your rights, okay? We have your, we have your house. You're not going to be able to go back to your house, okay? What, what do you mean? I'm We're housed. Your home. house is ours for right now. We're not going to let you back into that house. Okay. Your car is ours. We're not going to let you have your car, okay? We need to find her, right? Yeah. Isn't that what your goal is? I would hope that our goals was the same. 
right? Yeah. Okay. The house is ours. The car is ours. Um, you know, we're gonna. We need to find her. All right. I'm gonna read you your Miranda rights. If you don't want to. How long? Wanna, uh, how long? How long are you going to? Uh, however long it takes. What they're they're searching it or something? Huh? I I don't know. I'm gonna write a search warrant for your house. Okay. I'm gonna write a search warrant for your house and, um, you know, maybe for your car. I don't know. I haven't yet decided on the car and stuff. But like I said, it's what I want to do is we we need to find her, okay? And if you're willing to help us out, great. And if you're not, then well, that's fine. Well, you guys want to well. search the house okay. and stuff? I I don't care. Okay. I'm going to read you your rights. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to a lawyer and have him present with you while you be questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you wish. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. Do you understand those rights that I have just read to you and explained to you, Josh? Yeah. Okay. And having these rights in mind, do you wish to talk further with me um, in regards to this investigation? Well, what about my kids? Where are they at? Where you left them. You left them with your mom, right? Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, we can continue on. I mean, we can go into those questions. I have to read you these rights. Well, I mean, you okay. guys can come. So, I know. Listen, Josh. I have to read you these rights. I'm not trying to hide anything. Then so. I need you to answer the questions. Okay. You said that you understand the rights that I've explained to you. Yes okay, or no? Yeah. Okay. And having these rights in mind, do you wish to talk to me now without having what a is, lawyer present? I don't understand how you get any more specific. Okay. You know? Do you, let me explain to you, okay? Let me explain something to you, because sometimes people kind of get misstepped on this particular uh, statement, okay? I read you, let me read these through, yeah, okay. On number five, all right, see this little card I have? This is your Miranda rights. This is what I just read to you, okay? okay? On number five, it states, you can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. Okay, do you understand that? Okay. All right, um, so with your Miranda rights, with what I have read to you, okay, with the understanding, you can stop talking at any time. Like I said, I'm not um, handcuffing you. I'm not taking you down to jail. All right. I just want to um, ask you some more specific questions and ask you to do a couple of other things for me. Okay. So in order for me to, for us to continue to work at this and try to find a resolution, I have to read you these rights. Okay, that's all it is. All right, if you if we're talking and you decide you want a lawyer or you want to not talk to me anymore, then we'll stop talking. Okay, I, I and guess I so. Just, I mean, <clears throat> so do you want me to read this to you again so that you understand? I mean, I've, I've heard it on TV and stuff, you okay. know. But the important thing, Josh, is right now, I don't really or if you've heard it on TV or how they say it on TV, the important thing is right now, okay? So do you want me to read it to you again and you can answer my questions? Let's do that. Let me read through it. You answer my questions, yes or no. I don't want you asking me questions, okay? Until after, until we're the, after done, until we're finished with well, this. Let's see if... So let me I, read you this. I don't know, I mean, I'm... Okay, listen. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to a lawyer and have him present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you wish. Josh, you can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. Do you understand each of these rights I've explained to you, Josh? 
Yeah. Okay. In having these rights in mind, Josh, do you wish to talk to me further about this investigation? Yes I don't or know no. if I'm ready to do that. It's yes or no. Face. Yes or no. Do you want to have a minute to think about it? No, I was, you know, I was already a little bit concerned. Well, I'm concerned <laughs> about your life not being around. So, let me step out for a second. I'll come back and grab you. Okay? Grab me for what? Well, if you don't want to talk, then what? Then I guess you can leave. Okay. I mean, you could leave any time anyways. I, yeah. I mean, let me think about it for a couple days and... Your wife is missing, Josh. Yeah, but I've already... And you want to think about it for a couple of days? I've already answered everything. And I told you I would answer everything. I don't understand why. Aren't well, you, are you willing to do a... Um, yeah. Oh, sorry, you're still... Yeah. Are, we, are we done? Can I talk to you for a minute? No. Can I talk to you for a little talking before? I just got to ask you something. Well, all right. Let me talk to you for a minute real quick. Sorry. Have a seat. Sorry, I had to get on the phone and talk, take care of a few things. Um, we talked earlier about your concerns, right? Yeah. About your wife. You're sorry? Kind of crying a little bit, telling me you were worried about some things, okay. Um, here's my concern, okay. Um, your kids, I'm worried about your kids right now. I mean, what, what are you going to tell your kids if their mom is? I don't know. Have you thought about that? They're going to ask you. No, I haven't even thought about it. Um, I don't know if you advise me. Honestly, he just... He just, he just, oh, yeah, he's just okay, this is what I want you to understand about that, okay? Your rights are just not, all it is is, by, have you watched TV before? Yeah. You've seen that every show, the first thing they do is advise your rights. Does not mean anything, it does not mean that you're guilty of anything, it does not mean that you're being accused. All that it does is by law, we have to, we're required. Anytime we talk to somebody to advise them of their rights, so they understand their rights, but at the same time, after I advise you of your rights, and what that does for me is it lets me know that you understand that we're just having a conversation here, and you are free to go at any time. But for me to help you to find your way, to be honest, though, I I was already feeling sick, and okay, I'm, I, I well, let me ask you this. I just want to go. I want to go. Okay. Well, let me ask you this before you go. I'm gonna sit right here. I want to talk to you. Okay. Go ahead and ask one last question. How am I going to find your wife without your help? Well, I, I told him I was there's willing to help with everything. Go ahead. Well, have a seat. You might want to sit down for this one. Okay. <clears throat> um, I just spoke with some of the... I'm sorry, this chair's screwed up. I just spoke with some of our other detectives. Um, and you're going to have to wait here with us. You're not going to go anywhere. Um, one of our detectives just uh, interviewed your children. And uh, your children are telling our detectives that uh, mom went with you guys last night. And that she didn't come back. She did not go with us. Okay. Well, with that, just getting that information... You're not going to go anywhere. I'm not going to let you leave. I'm going to detain you. You sit right here. If you want a lawyer and you want to talk or you want to change your mind and talk or take a CBSA test, um, then we can do those things. But <clears throat> and, uh, with that in mind, they know that she didn't go with us. Well, here's the thing. Kids, kids are very honest. That's one thing I've learned in the years of doing this job. But when kids talk to us, we'll listen because they're honest. And they, 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 they never lie. They don't make things up. So if they're saying they were with you, they were with you. Okay? She, I mean, she was with you. So I have to believe the kids. So now it's going to be up to you if you want to help us find her. 
and help us get to the bottom of what really happened here. That's what we're here for, okay? We're going to find out either way, with your help or without your help. I honestly don't need your help. I feel, not, I feel confident enough in my investigation and his, his investigation and everybody else involved. We have great detectives in this department that we'll find out what happened. We'll get to the bottom of this with your help or without your help. So I want to give you the opportunity to help us and tell us what really happened. Because you're There's the only one that knows. nothing that happened. She was not with us. And if my kids said that... So your kids lie then? Do your kids lie? Sometimes they do. I mean, if they said that she was with us, they know that's not true. So if they and say... if they said that she was with us, then... Then, then I what? guess that would put her out in the... out the at Pony Express. Okay, and that's my concern. That's our concern. It is cold outside. And if there's no, any way we can help her, we can help her right now if you help us out. No, she, she was not with us. I didn't leave her at the Pony Express. I didn't just take her out and drop her off or even do anything. Okay. Let's go back to the rights real quick. You're not leaving either way. Okay? So what I want to do is I want to have, have you answer some questions for us because you can't leave either way. But what I want you to be aware of is, do you have rights? Okay? And it would probably be to your best interest to listen to these rights. Well, He's going to read okay, to you. Okay, but I do want the lawyer because at this point I definitely want a lawyer. Okay. So where is where do I get the lawyer? In fact... Tell you what, if you can get this what I can do for you right now. <coughs> You give me a phone number or a name of a lawyer, I will call the lawyer for you and bring him to you here. And then we can still talk. Do you want to do that for me? Um, the only lawyer I know of is prepaid legal. So that's a generic number, right? You can tell me what lawyer you want me to call for you, and I'll, I'll get you a phone so, book. Whatever you want. Let's see your phone. Why? Let me just see your phone. It's gonna. I'm gonna hang on to it until we're finished. Okay. Do you have? And a, I record. I guess the have, question do is. Do you have a lawyer that you need to call? I would like to call my lawyer. lawyer. No, we'll call your lawyer. Okay. Yeah, you just tell us what to call. We'll call him for. Do you have the phone number in there? We'll write it down and we can call him. I'm not going through your phone. I'm just gonna hold your phone so that you can't use it. Oh, he said I'm not supposed to call them. That's the phone number. Is there anybody specifically you want us to call? Any names? Because either way, with your lawyer or without your lawyer, we have to get a statement from you and find out what happened and what's going on. We've got to find her. We have to find her, period. And I think you owe it to your kids that we find her. Obviously. So what do you want us to do? You want us to call your lawyer? I, yeah, I want a lawyer. Okay. okay. And if you guys are... Okay. We'll do that. Yeah. I'll give you a phone, but you can't use it. Okay, so don't pull it out, don't text, don't call. Do you understand? Or are you going to be tempted to use it? No. How long? As long as it takes. Could be an hour, could be two hours, I don't know. Okay, well. <clears throat> okay. And if there's anything that you want, just knock on the door. I don't come thought out. thought you said you were going to give me the phone. Mm, I don't know. I, I, think, I think what we'll do is we'll hang on we're going to hang on to it for evidence at this point. Yeah. Okay. We're going to keep it. And it's going to be part of the case. Okay. And if we feel that we don't need it for evidence, then we'll let you know and we'll give it back to you. Okay. But if you have anything you want to talk to us about, you knock on the door. Okay? Don't come out. Just Don't knock come out. on the door and we'll come over. We'll come over and talk to you, okay? If you decide you want to talk about anything. All right.
Okay, so before I call, I just want to make sure, do, um, if I call an attorney, do you want to talk more? Um, or no? Honestly, I'm already feeling sick. I, I wanted to go a long time ago, and at this point, I'm... Okay. If you want to leave, you can I leave. I can leave? Yeah, if you want to leave, you can leave. Okay. Now, and you're keeping my phone? Or I'm going to keep your phone.